Bruh. No, whoa. Going straight into red. That's what I do every single time. At the start, you know, just testing out the microphone. That's not what I'm doing. I, I, I test it before I start streaming because I'm not a freak. What? Yeah, see, that's what I thought. You're supposed to look the screen right in Shogun. Anyways, lantern right. Boom. Let's go. That's the intro. Uh, you know, in my free time, I already did the extra... I don't have my Twitch open. What am I... Oh, my gosh. I'll open it without being ready. Give me a second. I always have to have the creator dashboard open for uh, reasons, I guess. Guys, you can get 30 Primo Gems if you watch me. Twitch drops on. <laughs> uh, anyways, I did the extra event stuff in my own little time. Uh, see, I have Max Festa Fever. Because all I had left from last time was this to 5,000 and then two of these. And it was it was great. I'm not sure if I showed it either, but I got Zing Cho's Constellation, if anyone cares, which no one does. No. <laughs> but yeah, last time I only did the first part of it, of like the story part. Uh, and I'm so excited to see the, the great English, uh, 98%, uh, English... Uh, <laughs> singing you know it, it's it looked it was so good guys <laughs> uh, he said sarcastically man they just did him dirty with some of those those lyrics were dumb all right i'm, I'm just gonna say it <laughs> i already saw on youtube because everyone was everyone was already posting about it literally everywhere like oh hey. Well, listen to how good Japanese and Chinese is. You only think it's good because it's a language you don't speak. Because the lyrics are garbo. <laughs> I'm sorry. But you know what? We can we can suffer the pain together. I I don't even know how long this would take me to get there, but I'm just gonna hype it up right now. All right. Sumo music in, in Leo way. What is this? Raining in Leoway Harbor. What is this? Scam. Oh, wait. There is no rain. Yeah, it's just magical like that, you know? Whatever. <laughs> yeah, I get it. I get it. Raiden Shogun. Sorry. I switched to Nahida, so my brain went off. So, part two. Ganyu's falling asleep. Wow, a lot of surprise. Wake up, idiot. <laughs> uh. Greetings, Traveler and Paimon. Uh, what time is it? It's time for you to wake up. That's Are what. You okay, Ganyu? You were nodding off there. Didn't you sleep well last night? She doesn't sleep well uh, ever. I'm fine. Don't worry about Don't me. worry about me. I'm just overworking Let's myself. The matter at hand. Welcome to China. Since last time, I've been thinking a lot about the story Paimon told me. Which one? I forgot. It's been like, what, a week? I don't In even essence, know. In essence, someone rescued a drowning man and performed some music. Oh, that story. Okay. If that were all there was to it, it could have been many people. Human or Adeptus. Yes, Ganyu, but you know, right? But the tune was allegedly so wonderful that the drowning man forgot about everything else. Even his own impending death. And only came to his senses after being brought to shore. Where's Venti? No. Perhaps there was an adeptal power at work in that music that he, as a mortal, could not perceive. Or perhaps he sensed a power surrounding him but lacked the words to describe it, not knowing where it came from. I don't know. Tell me why I can't. Either way, no, I'm if this part we, of the story started. is true, then the rescuer has to have been an adeptus. That's what I'm saying. You really think so? But this story is all the way from Fontaine. Isn't this a bit of a long shot? No. Also, Fontaine... I'm really curious about how people from Fontaine think this fairy lady looks. It's probably Cloud Fontaine. I mean, what? Yeah. Maybe they imagine her having wings. Ooh, like a crystal fly's wings? No. That would be pretty cool. But Paimon definitely can't imagine any of the Adepti looking like that. So do fairies just not exist or something? Actually, I mean, Ganyu, honestly, just, if you to yeah. Save a drowning person, how would you go about it? Uh, I would oh, not. Me? I wouldn't save them oh. at all. 
Well, survival of the fittest, the fittest that's what they say. Get them Come to on. The shore, and then I probably hide behind a tree and watch them for a while. Why, Gun? You're kind of weird. I mean, you, you're practically human. Once I like... was sure that they were going to be okay, I'd slip away without a sound. Yeah, so yeah. cute. Question mark. So basically, Gun is the type of person who doesn't like taking credit for her good deeds. So she's a loser. No, it's not like that. Rub it in their face, I'm Ganyu. Just not very good at explaining things. And I also find it really awkward accepting other people's gratitude. Mm, wow, why do you work so much then, huh? Well, what if the subductress in the story had huh? a similar attitude? That would explain why she just left without saying a word. She was probably thinking something like, <clears throat> One was merely passing by and saw fit to address this egregious disruption to one's graceful zithering at once. You may keep your thanks to yourself. You know, Paimon, that's a great adeptus uh, impression. Honestly, perfect. <laughs> that was actually a very good impression of Cloud Retainer, Paimon. <gasps> Cloud Retainer! No, I'm kidding, anyways. As far as I'm aware, Cloud Retainer isn't the most musically gifted. Still, we can't completely rule her out just yet. Yeah, um, okay, continue. If we set off now... We could head to Mount Outsung and ask her about it. Outsung? You'll be able to confirm either way if it's her, and I can, um... Stay here. I've been in Leah Harbor for so long now that I'm just not as familiar with the Adepti anymore. Sucks to suck. If there's anything we want to know about them, she's the best person to ask. Okay, let's go ask. Let's go ask. Come on, come on. this cloud retainer by now, so we probably don't even need to bring her food this time. And last time we saw her, last time we saw her, there was this whole, uh, the cooking event where she was like, test out my cooking thing, where you have to fight things to cook. All right, whatever, cloud retainer. I've prepared retainer. a gift for her to mark the festival, just in case. However. You still have some reservations, um, question mark. Cloud retainer spends most of her days studying mechanisms in her abode. What a loser. She's on her own so much of the time that the moment she has someone to chat with, she just... I know, I know. Never mind. I promised I'd help Mr. Dvorak, and now that I've made the contract, I can't be having second thoughts. True. What is your problem, Gan Yu? Traveler, Paimon, let's set off for Cloud Retainer's abode. She's acting like I've never talked to Cloud Retainer in my entire life. For Ganyu, but she's made up her mind now. Paimon gets why she'd be so anxious. Hmm. Okay, how about this? If Cloud Retainer tries to start telling stories about her again this year, we should pipe up and change the topic. Well, I want to hear about everything. Come on. Wait, did she leave already? Hey, Ganyu, wait up! Whoa, guys, part two. That's crazy. Anyways, um, I was gonna switch to riding Shogun and like, no. My favorite mountain, Mount Alkung. Eh, whatever, I don't speak Genshin Impactees, so no. <laughs> it's literally just Chinese, I swear. <clears throat> me. Yeah, woo! This is like, what, my fourth time coming here for an actual reason? Perhaps. This reminds me of pulling a certain character. I can't tell you which character, but you know. If, if you know, you know. Hey, look, it's these rock things I don't do because I don't have any characters who put down rock. Start challenge? Oh, this challenge? It's been a while. Oh, these are still sitting around, really? Find anything you like? Uh sure. Whatever. I found this spot right here. Ayo! No. We're too good. I can't believe it. Cloud Retainer is not here. <gasps> She's dead! Huh? Did we miss her? She doesn't like to travel. So in the past, it's always been the other Adepti who come to visit her during the festivals. 
Could she wait? Could she be busy with something else right now? True. <laughs> now that I think about it, Cloud Retainer would be quite capable of taking care of anything on her own. There's no need to worry about her. Yeah, how old is she? Like a billion? Since she's not here, I guess the next step is to check all the other Adepti abodes. One by one. Yo, is Mooncarver gonna get another voice line? Uh -oh. Everyone's favorite? Oh, that involve a lot more traveling. Mm. Um. Here, I'll hold you. Just kidding. <laughs> oh, got it! Paimon has a great idea! Let's give up! <laughs> Please go on, Paimon. Our goal here is to find the Adeptus that helped Dvorak's ancestor, right? We can't hear any music right now, but if she's really as nice as the story suggests, she'd definitely come to help anyone who was drowning, right? Okay, Ganyu, start drowning. Yes, I think that's fair to say. So, all we have to do is get the trap oh, me? pretend to fall into the water, and the Adeptus will come to the rescue. If you're so sure, why don't you try? You know perfectly well that Paimon can't swim. Paimon would sink like a rock. You can literally fly, Paimon. Excuse me? Uh, I think it's just a bad idea. Just Come on. Paimon. The water's pretty deep over there. Quick, swim to the very center. Paimon, you there's no way you can't swim, you freaking liar. How how can you drown here? You literally can't even drown here. All right, whatever, Paimon. You can be stupid. Oh, it's a fishing spot and everything. How about you help them, Paimon? If only there was a kind-hearted Adeptus here to <laughs> save us. Oh, no. Whatever will a Paimon do? She's the best actor ever, guys. Wow. Look at her go. Actor, when someone carries you ashore what so quickly you don't on? catch you. Oh. Of course it's Zhao. Of course it's freaking Zhao. Yeah, the fact that you can literally say this guy's name across the freaking universe. You're being snedged. Now you say Zhao, and then he just... And you know that... And he's just there. He's like, hey, what's up? And he's obsessed with me. Shen Ha's here too? Okay. How do you feel right now? <laughs> uh, Shen Ha and the Conqueror of Demons. Uh, what's poppin'? Uh, why don't you say something? <sighs> Please don't make Paimon explain it. It's your fault, Paimon. <laughs> he's mad. Okay, mad fine. edgy boy. Paimon will explain. No one cares, Sasuke. We're looking for an Adeptus who's good at being a lifeguard and playing music. <laughs> I, I, being a lifeguard? I don't think anyone can be a lifeguard if they but try hard the enough. If the Adeptus aren't going to stay home, then how are we supposed to find them? It wasn't me. Oh, no, duh. Uh, yeah, so this Adeptus is most likely a woman. <laughs> yeah, yeah, pack it up, Jao. Yeah. No and one cares. I am not an Adeptus, as you both already know, Traveler and Paimon. Yes. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <sighs> okay. So this is Paimon's fault. Yep. No way Paimon would have suggested this idea if she'd known how awkward this was going to be. Yeah, sorry for troubling you both. Glad you're okay. Yep, get out of here. You're really even already. As far as I know, the one you seek is no Yaksha. And one last thing. I mean, you're the only Yaksha le left, so it doesn't even matter. Your actions here caused others a great deal of worry. Do not repeat them again in the future. All right, edgy little boy, get out of here. That's what I thought. Bye bye. As ever, the conqueror of demons comes and goes, just like the wind. And also, you super cringe. You're right. I didn't dare to say a word just now. How's your training going, Shenha? Have you made any plans for Lantern Right? We could spend it together in Liyua Harbor if you'd like. All right, just. Oh, I had planned to spend the festival with Master this year. <sighs> However. She's dead! No, she's just not oh. here. Speaking of Cloud Retainer, when did you see her last? Earlier this morning. She set off for Mount Hulao at dawn. Hulao? I noticed no way. she was using an adeptus art of some kind to protect a mechanism that looked like a boiler. Hm. Maybe it was a gift for Mountain Shaper. I did not inquire. Hi, UK! How are you doing? I'm sorry, I waited for the finish so I'm not, like, talking over. What's up, UK? Tell, tell me the deal. Uh... So we just missed her. Oh, let's go to Mount Hula. Please excuse me for a moment. I think I'll leave the gift in her abode. Sure. Thank you. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Get out of here, goat lady. Okay, so it not, like not kidding. Wow. Have gotten a lot closer recently. Wow, not good to be honest. Oh. Yes. Uh -oh. Uh oh. During the summer and winter, I continued to train with Master. In the other months of the year, 
I have been learning to adapt to human life in Liyue Harbor. I mean, in my Twitch sphere, I, I, I'm not doing good either. Gan Yu arranged accommodations for me in the city and also recommended several work positions for me. But I don't like work. But when I tried Based. to blend in by referring to her as Miss Ganyu or Lady Ganyu, like the others, she says I mustn't address her like that. Oh, well, okay. Hmm. Doesn't Sometimes mean anything, really. I'm supposed to copy other people. Sometimes I'm not. It's a little difficult to keep track of everything. Oh, sure, this is what happens when you li live in the mountains, guys, all right? Gets embarrassed when people call her Lady Ganyu because she doesn't like it when someone's nice to her. She just wants everyone to be so rude to her or something. Oh, I don't know what her deal is. Is that what it is? Hmm. Noted. She, so she's not even human, so it's fine. you for Master today because you wanted to ask her about the Mystery Adeptus. Is that right? Mm, uh, why do you know that, huh? Yep. Creep. Oh, Creep. Speaking yeah, of that, no, I'm kidding. Have you ever heard any music while out training in the mountains? I don't know. I uh, music, music people. What is that? Oh my gosh, she's the worst person to ask. And this, there's a GD Open Cup since when, Bruh, We don't got. I haven't gotten that. But even if we had that for America, I'd get freaking curb stomped anyway because I'm bad. Sound, or even a terrifying one. I mean, where's, where's the Vorjack when you need him? Or, like, Venti or something. Okay, I'm done. Hello, I Ganya. also left her a note so that she knows where to find us. We won't miss her again. I mean, we could go... That's really helpful. Thanks. I mean, we could just go to her. It's international. Since when? I haven't heard of it. You know what? I don't, I don't... I'm not in the community anymore, so... Understandable. That sounds cool, but also that you got destroyed. That's kind of sad. We were just talking about this thing called music, and based on Paimon's description, I do believe I hear it every day. Please follow me. Oh, if she really? act Great, let's go! Imagine if she actually understands. That'd be weird, but she's gonna lead us to, like, an animal or something. I don't know. All right, Shenha, where are you taking us? <laughs> I mean, I think I hear music right now. You did so, so bad. Uh, what... <laughs> consists as bad because to your definition i'm freaking garbo <laughs> i mean i'm still i still i haven't beaten an extreme demon yet because i'm just sad people are watching <gasps> bruh isn't this the uh noblest obliged area wow imagine they put Novus Obliged on, like, every, like, character that they're trying to showcase, and it just makes them look so much worse. But, yeah. I, I, I'm guessing more people are watching that than people who watch me, right? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, yeah. Uh, I haven't had a huge influx of viewers in, like, 50 billion years. I mean, hey, if I, if I want to juggle 20 viewers, I'll just boot up Battle Royale. Watch. I'm not going to do that right now, though. I'm too busy playing Genshin place. Impact. I enjoy training here to the sound of music. Where's the music? When I'm that one time traveler, like, actually, uh, sung. Alright. Oh no! Paimon's got death! Paimon can't hear anything! My condolences, Paimon. <laughs> Paimon has a gun death after all! That was like two Paimon seconds. Like you when you just spoke. Uh, Come anyway, on. Uh, where is this music? The faint sound of birdsong, the quiet murmur of the streams. <sighs> These are relaxing sounds. <sighs> are they not the music of which you speak? No! They're sounds, Shenha, and you're stupid! Okay, no. <laughs> Just get mad at someone who doesn't understand what music even is. Oh, uh, you could say something about instruments, Paimon. I'm quite done with the description. <laughs> okay, fine. It's all Paimon's fault. Everything is, apparently. But we're looking of nature, but melodies played on special instruments. See, you could have started there. Oh. And a melody is... Go on, Pim Paimon, sing us a nursery rhyme. <laughs> uh, you sing the glaze uh, lilies? Huh? Hey, why don't you just sing that one melody Shen has heard before? It'll probably help her to understand what we're talking about. <laughs> Fingers crossed this won't attract any whopper flowers. Hey guys, that's a reference to the thing that I just talked about. And how are am I doing? 
You know, I, I've been playing a lot of Genshin recently, like off and on stream. It happens every now and again. And I'm, I do a lot of editing. <laughs> and I'm going to work. That's how I am. <laughs> I don't really, you know, I, I, don't, I don't really know. I'm fine. It just kind of sucks that my Twitch is, is kind of a disappointment recently. I haven't gained a follower in months. I, I, I know I'm doing something wrong, but I don't know how to do anything right either. So in the Twitch sphere, I'm kind of a loser. Everywhere else, I'm doing just fine. <laughs> wow, guy, they're singing again. Let's go. Oh, that was actually really good, Sarah. Good job. Oh, was that from the opera that Yunjin sang? She didn't even sing the best part. Mm -hmm. That was a melody, and melodies can be called music. <laughs> okay, anyways, that song's really good. It felt like I was transported back to the past. In my mind's eye, I could see the Zhao lanterns lighting up the night sky again. Oh, we're all there, Zhao. raising our glasses and drinking to our heart's content on the Jade Chamber. Wow. As I watched Yun that Jin's is what happened. I felt a warm sensation in my heart. Oh, and as the drink reached my stomach, it went from warm to hot. That Yoon Jin thing happened, like, what, a year ago when Shen Ha, like, when Shen Ha's character came out, you know, with Yoon Jin? That was a, oh my gosh, that was right When you going. hummed that melody just now, feelings from a whole year ago came right back to me, as strong as they were on that day. So I was right. Anyways, continue. So that's the power of music. I'm surprised I remembered that that was a year ago. Wow, that was a yeah. Leeway Festival, so. That was so deep! Wow! Music definitely has the power to bring up memories. I'm 14 it's and like this is deep. A time capsule with all the special moments from our lives squished inside. Music does a lot of things, Paimon. Well, what about you, Ganyu? You can make me Are there any melodies cringe. that have left a deep impression on you? Um, I don't remember if my parents ever sang any lullabies to me. <laughs> yeah, parents, L. I know some local folk songs. <laughs> and a few other things come to mind, too. I mean, while we have music on our minds, let's let's talk about v Venti. Where the heck are you? Where the heck is Venti? No. <laughs> I don't know why I'm trying to get Venti out here, but I know Venti's in the story. I'm waiting. The songs of the sailors down at the docks. The little ditties that the vendors call out in front of ditties. their beloved shops. The uh, tunes of folk artists performing on the streets. Okay, well, I, the fact that she referred to music as the little ditties. <laughs> I have not heard that forever. She's a, she is so old, I forget. All the sounds of Leeway yes, Harbor. That's right. The music of Leeway Harbor. Whenever I heard the sound of those tunes, I always felt that they were worlds apart from me. <laughs> you know that apartment that plays the little, di the little ditty, the Reese's Puffs? <laughs> Yeah, I love that song. Many in Leela probably view me as a non-human. And they are right, in the sense that I never could connect with humans' artistic expression also and their your sentiments. Goat. <laughs> so I haven't been able to integrate into their community and be a part of their lives. So instead, I overwork myself under Ning Guang, and I'm always tired and I want to die. Well, good for you, Ganyu. At least that's she doesn't the want to do I the dying part. She does overwork Only herself. Only more recently did I start to realize that... The only barriers are ones that I have erected with my imagination. True. The way those melodies make me feel isn't all that different from other people after all. They're about mundane details of everyday existence. Life's ups and downs, joys and sorrows. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yep, Even yep, though yep. we come from different backgrounds Whoa. and have different stories to tell, when it comes down to the most common things... That we see and experience around us each day in the city. In Continue. that sense, we're all the same. Yo, guys, nice little lesson for all the little people out there. We're all, we're all the same. No, okay, well, there's differences. Gonna go. Unfortunately, it's getting pretty late. L. Well, all right. I'll see you next time. Maybe I'll stream in. Uh, I, I don't know what would be a good time. I'm just gonna. I've I've been trying to stream at this time recently because I'm like wow more people watch me at this time and I start streaming more at that time and then no one watches me. Anyways, I'll see you later, UK. <laughs> you go, Ganyu. You're yeah. really making progress. You have loads of friends in Leeway Harbor when you think about it. I like, too. Um. Oh, 
Okay, maybe some are more like co-workers and bosses. But, at the very least, Kuching and Chenna are your friends now, right? Eh, uh, sure. Yes. I am. Okay, well, she, she consents, so they are friends. Technically speaking, we should refer to each other by the conventional forms of address used among fellow disciples. <sighs> but now that I know what constitutes a friendship, I do believe we are more friends than co-disciples. Yo, Ganyu, character development, friendship? You, no everyone. way. No Once problem, the days are warmer, Ganyu. I would like to host you at my home in the city. Please, invite Kuching as well. She has a house in the city? I've planted many types of flowers. <clears throat> I'm sure some of them will be to your taste. Hey, as long as you got those flowers that she eats raw. Uh, you are too kind. I couldn't possibly. Uh, yeah, go do it, Nonsense. loser. You are my friend. She just denies anything. Anything and everything, she just denies it. She doesn't want anything, bro. <laughs> I have cultivated and cared for the flowers just as you taught me. Once you've seen them for yourself, I am sure you can advise me how to do an even better job next time. True, I'll okay. I'll save some for decoration. We can feast on the rest. Then, thank you in advance. Wow, she Wait, said yes to something. What is no that way. Again? If you insist. They're so Do people say that? <sighs> I'm not completely sure either. People it do say matter, that. Okay? You got the point across. The you need to <laughs> Concerned about your idea of a girls' night out, eating flowers, really? That's their thing. Does this have anything to do with you both being the disciples of that illuminated bird? I thought Kaching would be, uh, be munching on any flowers. She's too busy <laughs> munching on some shrimp balls, bro. But like, this. Well. Who dares refer to one not by one's adeptus title? But merely as that illuminated bird. Uh, Paimon? Hey, we've been looking for you. Master, our greetings, Cloud Retainer. <laughs> Yo, Mom. Ah, there it is! The illuminated bird has landed! <laughs> Double hoof. What now if Paimon's a god? The gold to use it rather than she. <gasps> Even after being chastised once already? Chastised? Uh, whatever. Barely a moment has passed since we last met. And yet your impertinence has reached new heights. It's been a year. Very well. If you refuse to learn your lesson, one shall scold you no further. You know, man, I, 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 I hope she doesn't have to talk too much because I am not a fan of one. the one must talk. It got me so mad. One has received oh, it get me mad. a message from Ganyu. <laughs> On the matter of the adeptus you seek, one suspects to know their identity. No, it doesn't make me mad. I just hate the way they talk <laughs> well shall one lead the way yes please cloud retainer i still have to complete my training for <laughs> I'm today, sorry so i will bid farewell to everyone here all right Very go under a waterfall well. or something await my arrival at one's abode later this night on this special occasion you should indulge yourself with some savory dishes oh, happy lantern right Shadow. if you want you to release you. a shell lantern come and find us anytime Thank you, I everyone. have 70 or Happy 60. Happy lantern right to you, too. Bye, bye. Cute. <laughs> Me when I sing, that's gonna I'm, I, I, I'm not that bad. Where the heck are we going? <laughs> Who's in the what's it goes here, huh? <laughs> what in the English language? Man, it sounds like I'm trying to sound like I'm saying like separate bits of audio. Like I, I'm not, I'm not referencing anything. It just, that's what it sounded like to me. I'm just, uh, saying stuff. And you know, me and my buddy Leo Par over here that. Is actually not Leopard, and it's just a floating bottle now, unfortunately. If you saw my last stream. Is this. Quaily Plains? At least I think I did it in my last stream. Cloud Retainer, why did you bring us here? <laughs> it Gone was me! Is of course, familiar with the name Guizhong, but have you ever heard of her? Never mind, someone I never heard of. I've definitely heard it somewhere. It sounds familiar, but I don't know. Guizhong is another name of Agentis, the god of dust. <laughs> she was extroverted in nature and adored social gatherings and inventions alike. The god of dust? That's one of the lamest things to be the god of. Mm, yes, dust. Thank you. 
That's why she's not here anymore, is because she's the god of dust and no one praised her. Anyways. Long ago, this region was yet a prosperous assembly. Gui Zhang often invited her friends to visit her home, reserving for us seats around the largest stone table. Mm -hmm, the largest one, Seagazer okay. Seagazer would always bring out his latest treasure and place it upon the table. Seagazer, what a oh, lady. He could be quite the braggart. Though usually a mild-mannered fellow, when it came to those collectibles he was so fond of, he always loved to show them off. Well, sounds like you had a great time. Who remembers that name? So that's what Seagazer was like. Now he's dead! He was an old friend and a formal rival. One has many memories of him. Cool. Once he had brought out the treasure, it would predictably become the center of attention. Neither Gui Zhang nor one was content to let him just steal the spotlight. So we would then also present our proudest mechanical creations. Oh, yeah, you freaking nerds. Uh -huh, As adepti, uh -huh. we were each gifted in our own ways and naturally proud of our accomplishments and our respective fields of expertise. Seagazer just gets trinkets from result, the ocean. <laughs> one often quarreled with Seagazer. <gasps> one would? One his did? His treasures were not even of his own making. He just used his exploration skills to dig them out of the ground. Yeah, what a loser. How pray tell could he compare to me when every single one of one's accomplishments were crafted by one's own hand? I mean, why are you still getting so mad about it? Taylor, you are getting competitive again. <laughs> one digresses. Regardless, every time an argument occurred, Gui Zhang would come over to watch us during our mutual lambastics. Who says lambastics? That's when she would join in, and on others, she'd take one of us by the limb and start uttering the most ridiculous nonsense. Okay, but okay, can we go back? Who the heck says lambasted? <laughs> Take a few steps back here, all right? I'm just saying, I, I don't understand. Nonsense? Your mom no jokes. kind of nonsense were we spared. Sometimes she would brazenly opine, Ah, why argue between yourselves when neither of you could ever hope to beat me? Oh, yeah, she got a Other point. Times, <laughs> she would make unsolicited suggestions, such as, Once you two are done arguing, let's go to the foot of the mountain and grill some meat. Uh, once again, she has a great she point. She sought to make everyone happy. And one must say, she had quite the gift for it. No matter what nonsense she said, one never felt bothered or offended. Okay. It also helped that she never referred to one as that illuminated bird or ladybird. I mean, you are ladybird, though. Come on, get over yourself. <laughs> Thanks for playing Wild Paimon. Anyway. Just as our impassioned arguments would reach the apex of acrimony, <laughs> Marchosius would bring his delectable dishes to the table. Yo, Marchosius? Yeah, I totally know that guy. <laughs> Who would dare snub the stove god and his wondrous oh, creation? that was the stove god's name? Sorry, I At forgot. At the sight of him, we would all immediately drop the argument and prepare the table for a night of feasting and drinking. Yeah, now he's now the stove god's just a freaking bear who eats... <laughs> Spicy. Back then, one was always bothered by how the cups Rex Lapis brought were always too square for one's taste. Can you see yourselves ever enjoying a drink from a square cup? I was about to say, I want a square cup. I don't think I'd really then mind. you are most tolerant, but that is its own virtue. I want a square cup right now, actually, or at least a square, like, coffee mug. That looks stupid, but, like, give me one. Even one could never <laughs> find fault with Marchosius's cooking. As we ate, Gui Zhang would continue to find topics for conversation, filling the table with humor and laughter. Awesome. Okay, so why are you telling me this? Can we get to the point, Cloud? Each of those old fossils had their character flaws and points of obstinacy. So why was it that whenever we dined together, we always had a marvelous time? No, no, get over it. <laughs> we would drink together from a spot high in the mountains until the moon sat and the sun rose, and only then would the banquet finally come to an end. Awesome, cool. Streetwood cool. Rambler would often remain to admire the flowers. Streetwood Rambler? Before returning to her own abode. The glazed lilies were far more abundant back then. Entire fields of them would appear to the eye as a veritable sea of flowers. Street word rambler. Yeah, I was about to say who the f that would be Ping. 
Oh. You probably know her as Madam Pink. I was about to say, her name, that her street word Rambler is her name? All right, oh. excuse me. Okay. Wait, this is a lovely story and everything, but didn't we come here to find that Adeptus from Mr. Dvorak's story? Paimon, thank you. Or are you saying that it was Guizhong? Didn't she, um, already, uh, um... Just say it. Alas. Long has one avoided this place for precisely that reason. The sights here are a reminder of a time long gone and evoke much sorrow. Well, cool. You can't thank her. End of story. I should have guessed that you would disrupt one's poignant moment of mourning with your incessant questioning. <laughs> All right. No matter, okay, get over it. share the whole story with you now. Give me a cutscene. In times gone Called by, it. one quarreled oft with Gui Zhang concerning mechanical principles. I love their we 2D segments ideals, and their 3D cutscenes. I just love everything. Under the pretext of a social gathering, Yo, who are these other two one invited designs? the impartial Rex Lapis to judge the quality of our creations. Oh my gosh, you got the cape on! Rex Lapis declared that Gui Zhang's obscuro vulpus mechanism was superior. Oh, she's so cute! Why is she dead? Though one was too proud to acknowledge it. In one's heart, one knew that Gui Zhang was indeed the superior talent in the mechanical arts. Okay, but why is Gui... As for the story between Gui Zhang and Streetward Rambler, that begins with a certain bell. In Gui Zhang's opinion, while mechanisms were no substitute for human composers... What? She made a bell? ...producing simple but fine melodies. But Streetwood Rambler believed music to be an expression of the soul. Man, an emotional working. enterprise that could never hope to be replicated by machinery. They argued endlessly until one asked Rex Lapis to intercede. <laughs> he confiscated the bell and designated it for ceremonial use. Thereafter, one would often find them convening in the mountains. Discussing music, mechanics, and all the affairs of the mortal world. Ash. But these good times were not to last. War broke out between the gods, and soon engulfed the Guili Plains. Gui Zhang was overpowered by the enemy, and fell in battle. No! When the cute Red enemy Rambler design! When arrived at the scene at long last, all that remained among the ruins was her lifeless body. After this, at Streetward Rambler's request, Rex Lapis granted her the cleansing bell for safekeeping. Oh, yeah. To honor our friend's memory, one made a few finishing touches to her ballistic device. We used those dingies. I remember. Come on, Regina. Many lantern rites have passed since then. Many greetings and goodbyes. Upon what do you gaze? The Gwaili Plains? No. It's everything. Just everything, guys. I think of human life as like a lantern that's lit one minute and extinguished the next. But are we adepti so different? Perhaps as dust settles after a storm, we too must one day return to the world. <laughs> Rip. Below. She turned into an NPC. Unfortunate. <laughs> One has always been austere and private by nature, and has never relished socializing. One's dealings with Guizhong were born out of discussions on the discipline of mechanics. All right, one second. Listen to me right now. Listen to me right now. Oh, why did I hit my desk? I just started hitting my desk for, like, impact or something. Genshin impact. Anyways, why are there so many great designs that they show in, like, these cutscenes of, like, the past... And they're just never going to be used, guys. You know, awesome. I love all these awesome designs for characters that you're never going to see in the game. But, guys, hear me out. Hear me out, all right? So, you know, after, you know, you know, to that storyline chapter video, it came out, like, in 1.0 or something, like maybe 1.1, or actually before 1.1. But here's the thing. The last part that they put after Snezhnaya is, like, chapter blank. Like, obviously, it's probably, like, six you know, it's seven or something like that. And it says Conria. So let, let's say hypothetically, well, what if you go to the past and then you can roll for those characters from the past? You know what I mean? I feel like that would be pretty cool because there are so many cool designs and it makes me mad 
that there's these there's so many cool past designs that we've seen so far and it's like oh wow cool too bad they died hundreds of years ago well what if they what if they didn't and you just go to, to the past or so i don't freaking know <laughs> i'm just guessing here what you have loads of friends and you seem pretty chatty also cloud retainer should go back to our other form because other form is better why do you want to be a bird that's the question i ask just because one is not ignorant of social graces does not mean one is fond of them one is perfectly capable of partaking in conversation despite being introverted <laughs> you're more than that you freaking and live the in the end, mountains one is nothing like streetwood Rackler. She is dauntless but thoughtful, not to mention eloquent and wise. Moreover, her friendship with Guizhong was far greater than one's own. Back when they were rivals, they would often compete against one another in the realm of musical composition. Oh, yeah, okay, so she was good at music, and she's dead! That cleansing bell was one of Guizhong's proudest works, having the ability to both compose and perform. Mm, yeah, cool. Mm -hmm, Wait, mm -hmm. that's weird. Ping say she pestered an old friend for that bell? And she also said something about being a vain beauty when she was young or something. I mean, did you see that old cutscene or I mean she was looking kinda nut Streetward Rambler, a vain beauty. <laughs> My foot. That's the most unbased thing I've ever heard, Cloud Retainer. You are terrible. I saw that picture. That bell has a sad history. Clearly, she refrained from sharing with you the truth of its origins, since the right time had not yet come. As for Rude. her old friend, who else could it be? It was a sea gazer! No. As soon as Streetwood Rambler heard that a certain Zhang Li wished to borrow the bell, she realized that the man was none other than Rex Lapis. Oh, you know that too? An enormous decision. After all, we all have known each other for several millennia. Oh, cool. Some things between us are implicitly understood. Whoa! So they were talking in secret code? Oh, Paimon did not see that one coming. Wow, guys, they're do they're dropping us like something from 1.1 story quest. Wow. Uh, wow, guys, all the way back there. <laughs> Enough of your intrusions. Where was one up to? Ah, yes. One remembers now. Yeah. The cleansing bell is powered by a mechanical art and can be used to great effect as an accompanying instrument. After the passing of its creator, it was used on numerous occasions during rites of parting. Awesome. But Streetwood Rambler did not acquire it from Rex Lapis for the purpose of producing further funerary tunes. No. Each time she rang it, it was to play the tune that Gui Zhang composed on it. The okay. two once clashed over their beliefs about the meaning of music. Who would have thought that with Gui Zhang's passing and Streetward Rambler's mourning, two tunes composed in Discord would eventually become one harmonious composition. Yo, Discord? That's I know that word. <laughs> I call my friends on disc now. I Once don't. Upon a time, Rarely, at least. Streetwood Rambler also loved gatherings, liquor, and Ooh. music. Liquor drinker. But after <laughs> Gui Zhang passed, she preferred her own company. L. She could often be found sitting alone at a mountain summit, contemplating and reminiscing with her zither. Hey, I have a zither. The music would go Can't from play mournful it, though. to soothing to impassioned. Many years passed before she finally composed a melody to her satisfaction. In celebration, she played the tune to the clouds. Regrettably, one has only ever heard her play that tune once. Maybe that was Madame Ping instead! Which brings one back to the matter you've been investigating. Perhaps it was during that performance that the ancestor of your Fontaine friend fell into the water. And was saved by Streetwood Rambler. Honestly, I thought it was Guizhong, the one that was dead. But I mean, hey, we could go for that too. I mean, she's not dead. But if she was so happy with the melody, why would she only play it once? Well, because someone drowned because of it, I one guess. One was also greatly perplexed by this. After suppressing one's curiosity Stop for a long one. while, one finally approached her and asked why she would retire the tune after having spent so long on it. I and mean, you know response, what she said? she said? I hate you. Get out of my face. The that played that melody survive. The one who inspired it is gone. 
Tell me, Cloud Retainer, when the one attuned to my soul is no longer here, who else could hope to understand this tune? Aww. Maybe. Poor Madam King. Maybe she'll play it again for the Fontaine guy, Dvorak, the 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 guy from Fontaine. Why, why did I say it like that? Is the one of the weirdest form sentences I've ever said in my life. I just remember being Whoa, taken I, care of by you when I was young. <laughs> Con, you jump scare. I forgot she was here. I stayed behind in Leela Harbor to honor my contract. I actually forgot she was there that she spoke up. Holy. I know I met Guizhong a few times. I never knew anything of this particular story. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, Guizhong mm -hmm. was quite the visionary. But tragically passed before her time. Her manuscripts still lie unfinished in the realm of clouds. Blank pages give one cause for contemplation on what might have been. Why don't you try to do it yourself? Had you not decided to search for that mystery adeptus, perhaps these stories, too, would have been lost to the sands of time. <clears throat> sands, guys. Sands. Not sands. Sands. Guys, that's a reference to the Subaru Desic. <laughs> uh, anyway. Uh, As of now. You know the truth. That the Adeptus who rescued the drowning man was none other than Streetwood Rambler. <gasps> no way! Do you intend to discuss this with her? I mean, hey, we can I, let's let's tell Dvorak about it. Uh can you let me yet? Yeah, thank Do you. Do you mean okay, no. Ping might find the topic too distressing? Psh, ah, she's old, she's over Precisely. it. Precisely. The passing of our old friend is a heavy topic that both of us are usually careful to avoid. Well, we have a reason to bring if it up. If I may be so bold, Cloud Retainer, could it be that this is just your own personal opinion? <laughs> That's such a Twitter thing to say, Gun. You did not just say that. <laughs> if I may so be so bold, could it be that this is just your opinion? <laughs> uh, that's, that's dumb. Oh. How so? <laughs> I've been in Leo Harbor for quite a long time now, and I've witnessed many farewells along the way. So I, too, am well acquainted with the pain of the passing of a loved one. Yeah, uh, yeah, really. But this doesn't bring the city or its people to a standstill. They have to keep moving forward. <laughs> so she's saying, get over it, loser. Someone as perceptive and wise as Ping will surely have come to understand and embrace this. <laughs> you will not get over it because you're the Though these immortal mountains have lost an adeptus, the harbor of mortals has gained a wise elder. True. No loss can ever be undone. But there is always much that can still be gained. Ping Crude. has helped countless people and will guide many others in the years to come. And all to whom she extends a helping hand become her friends. People she can admire flowers and discuss music with. Yeah, she Though does. It is heartbreaking to lose a kindred spirit. Life goes on. Because there are new friends waiting for you further down the road. What a great lesson for all the people at home. Ganyu's right. We even asked Madame Ping what she thought about adding a music festival to this year's Lantern Rite. And she was all like, oh, that sounds like a great idea. That's what Madame Ping sounds like. And, no, oh. not. When we get back, why don't we just ask her if she'd like to perform? Maybe we can even get her up on stage. Mm. <laughs> you youngsters and your imaginations. What? What? Why don't you come with us? It's been a long time since you last spoke with Ping. And Leila oh. Harbor is always decorated so beautifully during the festival period. That was my, uh, that was my attempt at doing like a Discord ping, but that was not close whatsoever i just sound like an idiot is not every lantern right the same in this regard oh shut up were there ever anything new to discuss one in pink could meet any day of the year all right i disagree Boomer. each new day and each new year is different from those that have come before how long will you simply let them pass you by nothing else do it for gun you the edibles she brought this time or indeed quite delectable. <laughs> why why are there so many lines here that you could just take out of context and it's so dumb? The edibles she brought this time were quite delectable. <laughs> we're all gone, you give you her weed come Very on. Well. Then one will be off. If the other old fossils have sneaked away into the city to amuse themselves, one shall soon find out. Yo, maybe maybe go into your other form. Right. Uh no, we should she's be gone. getting back okay. to the harbor as well. We don't want to keep her waiting. Sure, give me a second. I see two challenges Once in the back the that I have to do. Assembly, 
Now the Gwaley Plains. Say, <sighs> if we planted flowers there and cared for them carefully enough, do you think that one day we'd be able to recreate the Sea of Glaze Lilies? Yeah, sure. Once I find the Sea of Dandelions. <laughs> It doesn't exist, Gon. You get freaking wrecked. Okay, probably does. We'll find it one of these days. Allow one to take back one's praise from a moment prior. You are still far too given to flights of fancy, child. Wait, what? Why are you back? Cloud Retainer? You were still listening? One observed that you were making no effort to leave and returned to chasten and hasten you. This time, one is departing in earnest. Okay, what are you zooming in on? She already left. <laughs> What are you doing? What's going on here? Uh, yeah, anyways, get over yourself. I see two challenges, and I have to do them now. Because look at my leeway exploration. 87%. It's actually my weakest nation, okay? I mean, Monset, 100% everywhere, including Dragonspine. We got 84, 88, 88, 84, 87. You go down in Inazuma. Wow, look at all these hundreds. Wow, I love the number 100. The only thing that I actually 100%ed was the chasm and the underneath part. But see, look, you even go over to Sumeru, the lowest I have is this 87 here, and everything is 90, I mean, we got 99 here, 97, 100, 96, yeah, so, <clears throat> yeah, I gotta do these challenges, I, well, I don't have to, but what, uh, I will, I mean, I already told myself that I want to 100% all of the map, oh, so I already finished this one, but that one over there, I have not, <clears throat> basically, case in point is everything else is 100% except for part of Sumeru, and I want to do Lee away because I went back and did Mondstadt and Inazuma I already did naturally kind of because I just loved it that much same with Sumeru But there's a chest just sitting here. Wow, it, this shows you how much I've been here hmm. Yes guys Lee away. I'm gonna say it. I'm gonna say it. Lee away was my f least favorite nation <laughs> All right That's an exquisite chest, bro. I have no need. So generous. Yeah, but guy, yeah, I, I'm not really joking. Uh, Leeway has is probably my least favorite nation. That doesn't really mean much because I love all of them. I can't wait to see that new area that they added in set before form part. Oh, right, guys. Right, they're gonna do that, right? I don't know. I'm making that up. But I always just everyone's just always suspected that there's another monster area because you know. After, I mean, Liyue got the chasm right before to go into the, in, go into Dasumaru. And, you know, Inazuma got the extra Onkonomiya, if you will. I don't know why I'm bringing this up. I'm just trying to say stuff. I mean, also, if we go to achievements here, uh, first off, I already did the set. I already got the second one. I'm showing it off because I already did this. Look, I, f I already. Okay. Right, what, we're like a week and a half into this update, I think. And I already 100%ed the new desert area. It makes me kind of sad. But also, like, this just shows you how much I've been loving it. Because I have 215 chests open in the area. But look, Sumeru, the other desert one, 100%. 293 chest? Holy. I got one of these the earlier. I have not been playing a lot of uh, TCG, but I, I love it. And this one's not only... I can't do this at all right now because there's not enough Dendro Oculi until the next area. The last Sumer area, I'm assuming. And then the tree. I already maxed out the tree, guys. <laughs> but let's Chasm Lighter, 100%. Uh, you know, 100% Inazuma, 100, just all Inazuma, no duh, of course. But I just barely got the amount of chests. See, look, 301. I barely got that. I don't even know why. It was just so hard. But, uh, I'm pretty sure, uh, Mondstadt is 100, right? It is. Leeway 92. Oh, wow. <laughs> Wait. I only need two more chests to finish Liyue. Wait, actually? Bruh. <laughs> I didn't know I was that close. And I finished this. And this, I'm just never going to finish. Does anyone even have this card? I know someone does, but like, how, when, where will you ever get that? 
Um, bro, I need to do a hundred domain with friends, guys. What am I gonna do? Twenty. Th oh yeah. Okay, I could get that anytime. I just decide not to. What am I doing? Quick case question. Question. What am I doing? Okay, I'm. I'm just gonna say it. We we gotta do. We gotta get two chests like right now. <laughs> Drop everything. We need two chests right now. <laughs> Knowing how little I've explored this place, we'll find it somewhere around here. And yeah, you know what would definitely help? What if I use the thing that I actually built for a situation like this? See, look, ninety-seven. I can get. Th I can already get three more levels on the on the tree of dreams. But I already maxed it out at level 40. I literally have to wait until the next area. That's almost four levels right there. <clears throat> Anyways, this thing. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Geo compass. Well, that was a waste. Really? Really? You're going to do me like that? You're really going to do me like that? <laughs> Maybe there's one over here? Oh, 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 one, there's one over here. Shut up, don't care. Yeah! Hmm. Illusion shattered. Right. All right. Uh, do that, I guess. I don't, I don't know. So, it's either the chest is supposed to be here or it's a little bit past here. Maybe it's just up the ledge here. No, oh, it is. I was about to say, that seems like such a leeway thing to do. Even though I, I have the least exploration in it. One more chest, guys. That's literally all. all we need is one more chest. And it's this direction over here. The direction that I literally just walked past. Is there a chest with that, near these hella trolls here that I don't have? Yeah! Everything will be! There is no escape! Time to go! Wind strike! Wow, that was super hard. <laughs> Not really. Honestly, this spot is not very familiar to me. Um, okay. Apparently, I passed it. Oh, it's right there. Well, guys, 800 chests and Lee away. A fateful offering. That's what I'm talking about. Woo, 100% achieved uh, Lee away. I wasn't even trying to do that. Bop. Thank you. Thank you. I don't know, also, almost seven. I am one away from 700 achievements. But yeah, oh my gosh, all these hundreds down here. Who uh, forget about that. Who <laughs> And this also I can't do that until the next uh, the last area comes out. And this I, do people even go out of the way for this? Cuz I don't. Defeat four opponents with melt. I I almost got that actually. I don't use melt. I'm not a melt loser. <clears throat> Excuse me. Anyways, let's get back to the 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 thing at hand right now. Look at all these things I don't have. Oh my gosh. Bro, that this is a BP reward. That is so intricate and awesome looking. Also, Sino, no one gives a frick. Uh, Mortal Travel Series 3. This one. Oh, oh yeah. What's this one? Layla? Ooh, maybe I should, I should have Layla. I mean, I, she's level 90 and I haven't used her once. I just level 90 characters just for... So anyways, yeah, look, wow, this is kind of, like, so lame. But also, like, all these other ones are lame. It's like, wow, look at how good these are. Wow. I'm not saying they look terrible, but, you know, the character ones didn't get good until later. Like, this is Mondstadt's first one. It's literally just a picture of Mondstadt. Like, come on. First care. Ooh, you know, honestly, that one's simple but also fancy, and I like it. Ooh, same with that one. But the, fir the first really good character one is 
I mean, this one shows the character a lot. This is freaking garb. Guys, I bought a $500 Razor chair. And it all, it's like, also, it comes with this name card. Wow, this name card is freaking garbage. It looks terrible. Uh, this one's still one of my favorites. And I got this name card from an event that I wasn't going to finish. But then some like someone came in, uh, to chat and helped me in co-op. And that's why I have it. I'm so happy I have it. Because I, I, if I'm not on... Oh, this one moves a little bit. For reaching friendship level 10 with you. Wait, this is Eula's? Oh, pff, Eula's is really good. Same with Gazoo. Oh my gosh, that is like name card perfection. I also used to like this one. I mean, I still like it now. So oh, Sayu's character one. Is oh, he put see, look, this. Now, this is a character card right here. Now, this is a character card. And then. Yeah, if I don't have, like, the new exploration stuff like this on, I usually always bring myself... Also, woo, what is this? Meetings in Outrun Series 3? I mean, awesome. Oh, this one. See. So, if I'm not showing off that I 100%ed a new area, which I did this way too quick and it makes me sad, uh, I either had this one on or this one because they're both my favorites and they're so good. And now... To the task at hand, let us actually do the freaking quest. I'll shut up. I'm sorry. I, I, I'm sorry that I like playing this game and I want to talk about the game. I'm sorry. I'll never do it again. No, I'll do it again. Power. Wow. Cool. It's actually not maxed out. It's missing one feather. But to, to fix that, I would have to go to the sand, the things that turn on and off the sandstorm to reload it. And are we going to do that? Uh, where's the seed box? There it is. Hey, guys, it's your thing that Matthew Bean gave to me. Yeah, we're going to do it, actually. It kind of bothers me. It's been bothering me the whole time. It's like, wow, we don't have the thing. And now let me get the thing. Uh, there's one, like, uh, here, I think. Like, really nearby. I'm trying to remember. Oh, speaking of this desert era, while we're on the topic... I need to go back again in, into the inventory so I can show you, but yeah, it's got to load first. Can you freaking load? I'm sorry. I'll, I shouldn't be getting that close to the microphone. I know. I know. Also, this go a little bit faster. Okay, thank you. Hey, look. You, it literally spawns on top of one. Nice. Thank you. See, watch this. See, it was missing that third feather. Right there. Oh, Leopar looking good. Too bad it's not Leopar anymore. I can't talk. <laughs> oh, okay, anyways. <laughs> All the song, the music. Oh my gosh, it's so good. <clears throat> anyways. Uh, I was on the topic. Oh, yes, yes. Right here. Okay. So, I was just minding my own business yesterday. Doing a little bit of exploration in the desert. Because that's what I do. And uh, I found a random note. And, like, so th this U symbol right here was... There were a few doors I ran into in this new area. I'm like, wow, this is a clearance level I don't have. I can't open it, okay? So, and I was just looking for something. I forgot what I was looking for. Oh, I was looking for uh, the, the grease poopa things that you need to up Al Haytham's level. Uh, he's at level 80 along with my Hazo and my Faruzans. <laughs> And I can get them to level 92. At least I should be able to. Anyways, so I, I read a note from Jabrail, Jet's father, before he died, of course. And it gave me this clearance level right here. So I have a new clearance level, but I don't remember where the doors are. But the important thing here is that I, I have max clearance on the thing. I might as well bring it up because I, I didn't know I was doing that when I when I did it last night. Now, <laughs> what if I played the game instead of talking about the game? How, how about that, huh? Clear weather all around brightens the heart. Shut up! <laughs> I like that, though. I'm a girlfriend, I don't. Actually, I'm lying to you. Don't worry, guys. <laughs> Everyone would lose hope if I had one, you know? That's what I'm saying. Like, wow, this random streamer, huh? Random loser streamer playing Genshin Impact and all he does is play Genshin Impact. Yeah, guys, if you play Genshin Impact, you don't get dates, all right? Just the flip are you looking at? Look at me, Kazuha. Look me in the eye. Oh. Oh. 
ไปเอาไปอ๋อ oh, no, I need to test something oh there we go okay I was messing with my mouse sensitivity I'm like what happened there that was that was kind of hot okay you know guys I'll be right back There are leaves around, and I know just the tune to accompany them, if you wish to hear it. This scenery is wonderful. Surely enough to convince anyone to become a wanderer. Wherever in this world I roam, I carry memories of my home. This blade, it is the last link I have to the land of my birth. This scenery is wonderful. Surely enough to convince anyone to become a wanderer. Okay, anyways, yo, what's up? You, you like my beatbox? Okay, welcome to the stream. My name is Yove Tron, except for I just wanted to be Yove, but Yove was already taken. <laughs> anyways, let's go talk to... Uh, she's talking to Bird. 
Can you go back to your other cool forms, please? Right now, please. Ooh, Madam Pink and Cloud Retainer? <laughs> no way! It appears you made haste after all. I did not. <laughs> arrived but moments before you. I, I got so sidetracked, you should be embarrassed. Oh, bless my soul. To what do I owe the honor? How nice of you all to come and visit me. Mm, no problem. Miss Illuminated Bird, haven't you said anything yet? Said what, precisely? And why should one be tasked with saying it? It? Not Cause it. you're the one who's known Madam Ping the longest. Oh, well, that's cheating. Uh, street word. <clears throat> or rather, presumably, you would prefer to be addressed as Ping? Do what you want. Oh, cloud Retainer, you are uncommonly polite today. Hmm. One, uh... uh hmm... Given that Lantern Rite is almost upon us, the weather in the city is most pleasant, and a sweet floral fragrance lingers in the air. Yeah? Uh -huh. Cool. Good enough. Gone you? Please continue from here. Huh? <laughs> Gone you? What? Nice training. This is training time. Uh, all right. So, this all started because we were trying to help Mr. Dvorak find the Adeptus who saved his ancestor's life. And it was you! Or you can ask the story to Madam Ping. Cloud Retainer informed us that the one who played that melody and rescued the drowning man was none other than yourself. So, oh, really? Ah, let me think. Yes, I do believe I recall that encounter. Mm -hmm. <sighs> she just what does. a long time ago that was. I'm surprised that you still remember it. Even ha. more astonishing, perhaps, is Old the check. fact that this story has survived this long at all, when mortal lives are so very brief. Right, hey, <laughs> humans can do pass on stories. It appears that she has proven herself right once again. Who's she? Hey, Huang Zhang Zhong. I forgot her name. We like to call Guizong. her Wei Zhong. Sorry, I forgot. <laughs> look in Cloud Retainer's eyes, I since that she has already told you all about her. Yes, extensively. <sighs> Albeit reluctantly, one might add. <laughs> there is no harm done. What if it After was all, done, though? Huh? Lantern Wright's very purpose is to commemorate the heroes who gave their lives for Liu Wei. So yeah, Although her. Wei Zhong did not live to see the splendid sights of today. She was as much a hero as any other. That was the longest comma comma pause I've ever heard in my life. That was not a comma pause, my opinion. You might as well put a period there, because that's what that was. Uh, so how has she proven herself right again, exactly? Once upon a time, she said to me that humans were a weak form of life that she wished to protect with her wisdom. But okay, as that's kind of mean. But as more and more with them, her opinions on them began to change. Good. She marveled at the beautiful complexity of their spirits, the sheer splendor of all they could accomplish through their hard work and intelligence. Yo, intelligence? She told us that to underestimate human potential would be to make a grave mistake. True. With the smallest amount of guidance, enormous power can be unleashed in them. Why are you zooming on me? I'm not human. And a human who has reached their full potential may well be her equal. Someone who could have as much to teach an adeptus as to learn from them. Yeah? She always had a way with words. Why are you so mad about it, and huh? Her mechanical accomplishments were judged superior to one's own was, one suspects, in large part due to her sheer eloquence. Sure. Speaking of mechanics, Cloud Retainer, do you still remember that potted plant mechanism? The one that the two of you gave me as a gift? I broke it years ago and I don't give a f- <laughs> Of course. Guizhong and one both put an immense amount of effort into that gift. It would be no overstatement to call it a testament to each of our individual technical genius. I might just diss her right now, Peng. As Guizhong once said, it takes every blade of grass and every flower to make a homeland. Oh, wait, are we talking about the tea? When I see no. the sight of Learway Harbor before us today, I am reminded of this. Awesome. Madam Ping looks very emotional right now. 
Well, she's been through a lot of her time, I guess. <sighs> of all of us, it was Gui Jong who was the fondest of these grand and exciting occasions. Too bad she's the only one that's not here, am I right? Hey, 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 okay. <laughs> If she were still with us, I'm quite sure she would still be trying to best Cloud Retainer's finest works at every opportunity. That'd be awesome. Imagine if she turned it into not bird. Liyue Harbor is always filled with the sound of music at this time of the year. I like these pixels on if the- If she were here, one is certain that she would seek you out to discuss and debate the virtues of various melodies. Mm, okay, cool. Just checking that I'm streaming. Guys, did you know that I'm streaming? <laughs> you want to shut up, shut up. Okay, I continue. Oh, yeah, music! Wow! We've been dying to ask. What was the melody that you played back then? Oh, also, with you being such a music expert and all, why don't you join the concert as a performer? Well, wow, Paimon really just sped ran the, la the most important po points right there. It's like, hey, ba, ba, ba. Guys, remember, there's a story going on. Paimon, you know what? Paimon's going off right now, okay? She's not sidetracking tracking a lot. I, I, I like can make okay. arrangements right away. In these last two instances, she's like, uh, can you, like, shut up? Yeah, me too, by oh. Okay, okay. As much as I don't wish to dampen your enthusiasm. No! It's been a long time since I played this zither. My fingers don't have the dexterity they once did. Well, <laughs> rip bozo, just do and it. <laughs> I'm kidding. Whenever I play that tune, it always reminds me of her. Whenever I thought you only played it once, madam. I start wondering what she would think of the changes I have made to her melody. There was a period of time whenever I started strumming, it almost felt like she was back again. Sitting right there on the stone stool next to me, chatting away. Skybracer and Seagazer too, looking just like they did in the old days. And then Zing Yang's wife, hey guys, what's up everybody? I would like to make a rock version <laughs> or something like that. Because <laughs> uh, that's what Zion sounds like. It makes me so mad. No matter how much time goes by, the moment that melody starts playing, it transports me right back to that time in my memory. I mean, doesn't Dvorak want to like thank her at least? I mean, we can get him over and like, hey, yo, thanks for saving my ancestor or something. I don't know. So the past still weighs heavily on your heart? <laughs> Sucks to suck. Get over it. Nope. I would be lying to myself if I claimed to have completely moved on. Yeah, guys, I'm over-exaggerating, obviously, okay? <laughs> but that is not to say that grief doesn't get easier with time. Despite the sadness, I have found many things that bring me joy in life. Like flowers? It is simply the nature Old of lady. the world in which we live that even if one wished to mourn for an eternity... It would be a nigh impossible feat. <laughs> Just look at this potted plant. Isn't it stunning? She actually brought up the plant. I was just kidding, Madam Ping. Why are you stereotyping it yourself? It takes an honest and open mind to confront and conquer grief. You have indeed made progress. Wow, really? No way. <laughs> just laugh. Be okay. that as it may, I shall leave the lantern right stage to the youth of today. All right, whatever. Miss excuses. Well, if you're sure, Granny. Yeah, Faye! Yes, God! Woo! Woo! Whoa, what's everyone doing here? Did something bad happen? Wow, guys, could you tell that I have a favorite character here or what? Because I can't. Oh, and now we've spooked Yan Faye. <laughs> no, no. Everyone's just here to give me their regards for the holiday. Oh, Yanfei's our best character here right now, except for Lumine. Lumine's probably better, but, you know, whatever. Oh, no. that's wonderful. I'm glad. She gets lines. No way. No, well, no. in that case, happy lantern ride, everyone. Yeah, for lantern right, Yanfei. Thanks for coming happy here. Happy lantern ride. Oh, I, I just remembered that I have some uh, work to do at Yuhai Pavilion that I need to discuss with Yanfei. I haven't been able to find a chance until now. Oh, wow. You're going to make it all about work, aren't you, huh? I will leave Mr. Dvorak in your capable hands. Cloud Retainer, Ping, we will be off for now. Mm-hmm. Okay, see you later, I guess. Huh? Does it have to be right now? Which case is this again? Hey, Ganyu. <laughs> no, Yanfei just got here, said four lines. It's like, yep, I guess I got it. Ganyu's going to take me away. You know what? <laughs> Screw you. 
It seems Ganyu still has much to learn when it comes to the art of deception. Anyways, uh, Yanfei, bro. <laughs> I'm gonna say it. I was like, wow. Yanfei's character story is so boring. That was one of my favorite character stories. And I think it still is to this day one of my favorites. I can't explain to you why. I just do, okay? I will fight you, guys. I will go to twitter.com and fight you about this. What a pity. She has learned nothing of one's ability to carry a conversation. Conversations for chumps. Since it's been so long, Cloud Retainer, why don't you stay? I'll make a cup of tea and we can chat a while. Gladly. This was one's intention as well. Oh, really? When you next oh. see the Fontaine musician, please give him my regards. I'd like to wish him the very best with the concert. You don't want to personally talk to him? I mean, we could go just tug his arm or something. Okay, whatever. Thank you all. I think you've listened to enough of my nattering for one day. Yep, never again. As for no. that melody, I will play it for you all another time. Goodness knows I need to practice it first. Wow, that'd be great. We'll look forward to it. Good luck. <laughs> when that time comes, wherever her spirit may be among the countless grains of sand and specks of dust sand. between the harbor and the mountains, Perhaps she will look at the Leoa of today and steal a smile when she sees the prosperous land that it has become. Yeah, maybe she's dead. Okay, let's go tell Mr. Dvorak the news. Dvorak? More like Divorce Jack, am I right? <laughs> uh, it sounds so much like divorce. Hey, yo, Divorce Follow Jack is my favorite <laughs> character. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Marco. Whatever. Go find your brother Polo or something. I don't know. <laughs> uh. Hey, look, it's Kachig. What's up? You want to eat some <laughs> golden shrimp balls? <laughs> why? I just made that her entire character just because I felt like it. I don't know why. Her whole character is just golden shrimp balls to me now, just as a joke. Welcome back. Did everything go well? Oh no, don't tell me what's coming up. Really, really well. We found the person Mr. Dvorak was looking for. Yes, Dvorak, we got you. Are, are you serious? Yes, we are. <laughs> Recount the true story of the fairy lady, the Kaching, and divorce. Okay. Uh, I see. So the melody my ancestor heard was an adeptus remembering her late friend? That certainly explains why it wow. was such a powerful and poignant tune. Poignant. <laughs> huh. That's a really interesting first reaction. Guess that comes with having a musical mind. I have to say, though, it, it's hard to believe that the fairy from the tale is now an elderly granny. Well, she's more than an elderly granny, I can tell you that. Oh, Paimon knows exactly what you mean. Normally, Adepti don't age at all. You know what? Paimon has a point, actually. Like, why did she age? Did she just decide to? But Springward Rambler, or Madam Ping as we know her, Probably only became old because it's what she wanted for herself. Oh, okay, Paimon, I was just kidding. And then you're just telling me that's what she did. She's like, mm, yes, I want to be old now. All right, Madam Pig. How about you go back to your old self when you were attractive and then people might roll for your character. Madam Ping possesses vast knowledge and great wisdom. Whatever physical form she may decide to take, her mind and wits are as sharp as they come. Uh, so, yeah, she, she, she should go back to being attractive. That's exactly what Paimon was trying to say. Sure, good job, Paimon, piggybacking off of what Kaching said. Think... Mm, yes, I must thank her in person. That was what uh, this divorce, uh, divorce Jack, I was trying to do that for you, all right? That can wait until after the concert, though. <laughs> all right. For now, I need to devote all my emotional energy to the performance. Okay, buddy. Ah, speaking of, Madam Ping wishes you all the best with the music festival. Paimon has a sneaking suspicion that she'll stay in her usual spot, but listen to the performances from afar. <laughs> well, she might want to go away when the English Jingyan and Hu Tao come out, because I'm not, I'm not excited for Wait, that. <laughs> are you serious? Huh. Oh no. Now I'm starting to get nervous. Just treat it like any other performance, okay. buddy. All right. Nope. Another rehearsal is in order. Please excuse me, everyone. Okay, divorce Jack. Have good. Have a good time. <laughs> Man, now I really hope this character comes back in the future in like a Fontaine event just so I can say Divorce Jack again. <laughs> Mr. Divorce Jack? Oh, he's already gone. Paimon 
wasn't even finished telling him everything. It's all right. Before we set off on our search with Ganyu, he asked us about what music means to people. After our recent adventure, Paimon thinks we have a lot more to say about that now. Yeah, you make a great Please point. Please, share your insights with me. Uh, Kaching, you just wanted a line, didn't you? How much do they pay you per line, huh? No, just kidding. They don't pay voice actors a lot. Uh, well, we found out that music can be used for good, but also for bad. <gasps> no way! Um, it can make people happy and move. But it can also be sad and bittersweet. Paimon, here, let me say this shorter for you right now. Music can be d any different type of form that you're going for, all right? Guys, guys, it could be whatever you want it to be. All right? And music is like a kind of memory written in people's hearts. Depending on the notes. It can put you in touch with feelings from a totally different time and place. Pretty much, uh, though there was more to it than that. That was a broad summary, but not the most detailed. <laughs> it Le sounds like you had an eventful trip. Don't worry. I'm sure Ganyu will fill me in on all the details shortly. Shortly? Are you saying she's sh Wait, does that mean you're going to carry on working? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Just a few things to wrap up. All the groundwork is done. All right, don't as die. As long as everyone enjoys the festival activities... All our efforts are worthwhile. Happy Lantern, right? They're just trying to make make uh, Lumine say to like every Luwei character. Happy Lantern, right to you as well. Though they showed Venti in the cutscene, we haven't seen Venti yet. Uh, I mean, who cares about Zing Cho? Chong Young can go exercise a demon or something. I don't freaking care. Uh, <laughs> uh, too bad he'd fail at that. Huh. That should be everything taken care of, right? Oh no, wait. My mom feels like she's forgetting something. Ugh. What was it? Oh, it feels like it was a while ago. I don't even know, so enlighten me. Ah, uh, shoot! Latent... Wait, no. Anyway, uh... Fancy bamboo shoots! Made from nascent, nascent bamboo shoots. Bamboozle soup! Zhang Li said he wasn't in a hurry, so... <sighs> if we went now, there's probably still time, right? Uh, anyway, sure! Even if we don't make it, it's not our fault. Picked him by himself. Yeah. Ugh. Adepti these anyway, I mean gods these days. Let's go check with him at Wang Chung Funeral Parlor. Hey yo, Hu Tao. Don't worry, Hu Tao. I, I will not fault you for your performance at, at the music festival, alright? I will still love your character. One of the best characters of all time. One one of the characters of all time, if you ask me. D there, did Hu Tao talk in the last I don't even remember. I don't even know. Oh, Jingyan. Well, you know, guys, we don't have to finish this event. I mean, I got all the rewards I want. Like, see, seriously, I just don't think that we need... Well, he survived the fall, so I guess we have to. Okay, whatever. Fine. Also, I ch literally chose the worst character to climb this wall up with. I'm gonna climb up with the shortest character in the game. Okay, well, eh, maybe, I eh, no, she, uh, they're probably, all the shorties are probably the same size. Fine, Xing Yang, I'll go through the pain of listening to your voice one more time. See, that's cute. Oh. <laughs> See, that's cute. She should just do that on the stage so I don't have to listen to the, the other stuff that uh, those terrible lyrics they made her say. All right. Let's Weirdly. take a break here. Wow, Yoon Jin, what's up? I haven't seen you here yet. Wow, I can't wait to run it to Zeke Cho conveniently. Oh, wow, look who it is. Are you here to hang out with everyone's favorite funeral director? Uh, my favorite character. Are you just casually practicing your rapping skills at the entrance to your funeral parlor? In broad daylight? You're uh, okay. freaking me out a little. No, oh, uh, wow. <laughs> After everything we've been through, you don't see me for a hot minute, and you're back to being scared of your own shadow. Honestly, honestly, kind of like she, she. We haven't seen her a hot minute. The last time we saw her was literally a freaking year ago. Wu Tao doesn't get enough screen time, guys. All right. Then they give her screen time, and then like the English dub is just like, wow. We have all this open. space. 
space. A clear view of the mountains behind and the sea in front. Not to mention we have several invisible audience members enthusiastically cheering us on. It's the perfect spot to rehearse. Yeah, get get to the pro get on the program. I invisible cannot English. Audience members? <laughs> okay, well, she's that dumb. Got to say, it took me a few days to get used to director who's way of talking. What? What? It took me one <laughs> second cuz she's the best. Shinyan was pretty spooked too when she first got here. Just like when she sees a frog, but a giant frog with sharp teeth. Why is her whole wow? Like fifty percent of her characters, I'm scared to frog. Come on, knock it off. Yeah, What's wrong? I've never seen someone look so confused before. Well, don't worry, because Director Who's here to explain it all. Wasn't it? Wouldn't it be Director Tao? Okay, whatever. <clears throat> There once was a Fontaine musician who went around town on a mission. It rhymed! He came door to door for his iridescence tour, looking for acts to audition. Well, honestly, okay, so musician mission, like, that's obvious. Door and rhyming with iridescent tour is actually kind of, kind of fire. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> with my words, Shin Yan's chorus and Yunjin as our mentor, we'll take the stage by storm with flames roaring and the whole audience calling for more. This pose, though. Can we get this whole pose, please? Heck yeah! Sure. The whole dance floor will be yelling encore, encore! Oh, now Paimon's rhyming along. Um, but when you say flames roaring, are you sure this will be safe? Probably not. We have two pyro characters here. <laughs> oh, don't you worry about that. I'm pretty experienced on the stage, and I've already had fun. Okay, shut up. Guess we'll just have uh, to trust Chin Yan on this one. <laughs> I'm trying to read her text as fast as I can just so I don't have to listen to her freaking voice. Okay, have you seen Zhang Li, director who? Oh, Zhang Li? He took one of those fancy meal boxes and set off for the mountains. Said he wanted to pay a visit to some old friends. He has it's no friends. It's a real pity that he couldn't be around for this. As well as being a true connoisseur of traditional art forms, he's able to appreciate Xin Yan's performances too. Yeah? Yeah, that's right. Matter of fact, he was the one who first invited me to perform here. You know what's crazy? Zing Yang probably somehow breaks the laws of physics and sings in an accent. All right, guys. Most people lose accents when they sing. Like, you know what? No. We, we've doubled down on this whole country voice acting bull crap with Zing Yang. So you got to sing with a country accent. That's, what ru that's one of the things that ruined it, all right? Fight me. <laughs> Most people, your accent is not that prominent when you're singing. To tell the truth, though. I never thought I'd really find myself rehearsing here one day. That's all right. <laughs> Whatever. Well, now you know. The Wangsheng Funeral Parlor is a great location. All of you are always welcome to come and hang out here. Especially if you're in the mood to try something new. Man, if only I could talk to these characters when they're not only... When... Uh, something about events. <laughs> I can only talk to them during events. Uh, except for Xing Yan, we can delete her out of existence. Honestly, I'd, I'd be I'd be so grateful if I just like they just delete Zing Yang from the entire game, you know. I can speak to that. Hu Tao is always full of fun surprises <laughs> and jump scares. Actually, Xin Yan, I have some lyric ideas for your part. Do you want to go through them together? You want to sing it in a country accent, even though it makes no sense? Oh, sure yeah, thing. I sure I'm do. Shut up. Oh. Traveler in Paimon, I believe Zhang Li was heading to Mount Hulao, so make sure you're hiking up the right hill. Ah, uh, but that could be used as a metaphor, guys. When you see Zhang Li, please pass on this message to him. It's up to him whether he wants to support us at the performance tonight, but I expect him to make time for the upcoming banquet we're planning. No excuses. Yeah, Zhang Li, no excuses. Hu Tao says so. You should join us too. It'll be a riot. If there's one thing I've learned from being a funeral director, it's how to throw a party. <laughs> yeah, a funeral party? Yo. I mean, depending on what kind of culture we're, we're throwing this party in, yeah. Hu Tao. Okay, everyone. I think that's a long enough break. Let's take it from the top, shall we? Ugh, Ms. Yoon is such a strict mentor. These breaks aren't even long enough to have a sip of tea. You, sh you <laughs> said it! Well, you were desperate to get involved, and this is what it takes. If I gave you half the chance, you'd be sipping tea till nightfall. Hey. Hmm. How about some stir-fried filet with a side of crab roe tofu? What did she say? Oh, see, look, guys, context clues. She's talking about food. She's like, hey, why don't we have some food? Or something. 
work. We could always just go pester masterful chef Zhang Ling. Yo, a character name drop. Now I'm hungry. All right, let's knock this out and then go grab some food. Yes, guys, I'm not kidding. When I talk, when I, when I act this about how much I hate Zing Yang, guys. All right. <laughs> I wish I was over exaggerating, but holy, back to Mount Hula. Wait, we haven't been in this mountain. We went to Mount Aokang. Or whatever. However, however you say that in language that I do not... No, I do not want to put that down. Honestly, I don't put down enough markers. Yeah, this is where everyone goes eat. Hey guys, I was just kidding. It looks like a... Oh, wait, what the flip? I haven't done this yet. Holy. All right. Take them. I have no need. Guys, like I said, this shows you how much I've explored. Ooh, Core Lapis. I need this because I'm going to up my Zhongli eventually. Because in the background in my free time, I'm kind of working on... Well, after I get Hazel, I'll hate them and... Uh, other character I'm working on. Which one? Which one? Out of the way. Hazo. Hazo. Yeah, it is. Yes. After I get those three out of the way, I'm going to like level 90 my my some of my Geo characters because I have I have uh, Ito built, but he's really not that good until you get other other Geo characters. But see, guys, I'm trying to move past move past my biases. All right, because Geo is my least favorite element. <laughs> Which is why I have like, I only have one level 90 built character and it is because it's Ito, because Ito is special and I love his character so much. Like literally, literally. And the next spot under that is Ningguang, literally because of her dress. But see, look, this is my only level 90 Geo, Geo character and he's the best. Also, he has this crit rate weapon and also his build is probably trash. Let's look at this. That's like, that's practically one to two ratio. I mean, now artifacts, uh, yeah, we don't, we don't we don't talk about the artifacts. Eh, is this one good? No, not really. Crit damage, that's why I have so much. Oh man, everything he has sucks. HP? Oh yeah, that's because Ushi or like his his cow goes off of HP percent, so that's why I kept it. And something goes off of defense, I think. Guys, I swear. Okay, wow, man. I know something of his goes off of something. Also, I triple ate him. I always forget that I did that. Uh, but, 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 but. Attack bonus goes 92.2% off defense. So I did that for the alt. And this goes off of inherited HP, 100% skill damage that much. So yes, that's why I have the HP in the thing. Okay, I was trying to make sense of like what the flip I was doing. Because otherwise, I mean, okay... Honestly, I could have better pieces, but I do not. I have not been grinding this whole thing. But I'm, this off piece could be better. Okay, is it an off piece though? The answer is yes. You know what? I I should just have the best off piece I can ever have. What what's the best feather I have that I'm not using? I mean, now that's pretty bad. This one? Oh my gosh, bro. It also comes with 10% defense. I mean... Bruh. I have some really good... Guys, I don't know what it is, but all my best piece... Oh, if this goes into crit rate, that'd be freaking poggers. Um, I've gotten all my best artifacts from this Dendro set. I like... The Dendro... Dendro just loves me. Okay, crit rate. <laughs> or, I mean, hey, you could have 24.9% crit damage. Sure, whatever. I don't care. Do what you want to. <laughs> All right? See, okay. We gave him a good off piece, and it's literally over Nahito's. Oh, well, that's why. But I, I also, I think I have another one that's, like, really good. Uh, I mean, hey, f five crit, like, that's a one to two ratio right there for free. I could have sworn I had other good, uh, I mean, all I would have to do is say deep wood memories. This is where all my best artifacts are. Look at how many locked ones I have. This one, that one sucks. That one's just this one. It literally is okay. That this one's this one sucks. I don't know why I have that. 
Let's look at these other locked ones. Eh, decent. It's, I could have sworn I had like another goaded one here sitting around. I mean, hey, some of these are good. Okay, it was it wasn't this. Uh, just all. Uh, there's one flower that I built recently that's not in any one that's actually really good. Is it this one? No, it's not that one. This one. <laughs> These two flowers right here have like. This one specifically is really good. You know, actually, I mean, uh, you know, maybe maybe I have some extra ones just sitting around. Maybe we go. Okay, attack. Are you kidding me? <laughs> go into crit rate. Go right now. Go into crit rate. I dare you. Yes, guys. I'm an average Genshin streamer now. I'm upping my artifacts. I have to get to level 16. Do I have enough artifacts? Most likely not. Yeah, I do. Okay, crit rate. Or crit damage. You know what? Do whatever the heck you want. I'm not complaining. I'm going to keep on auto-adding until I'm out. Because, yeah, yeah. I know I was almost out. Okay. If, it go, if one of these go to crit rate, this will be really good. Or EM. But no, crit rate. Because that's the last option. Oh my gosh, fish really didn't hurt me now. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> I keep on getting sidetracked today. I'm sorry about that. Let, let's go talk to Moon Carver and the, the other guy. Or whatever. Climbing sees them. It's Illuminated Deer. And Illuminated Bird number two. Wow, man. Man's get number two. Greeting everyone. Long time no see. Hmm, a familiar face. Have you come from the U.A. Harbor? How is the city nowadays? Bro, man, Aether sounded different these days. Everything's great. But, you know, if you're so curious, you can always go and check it out for yourself. I'd rather not. In fact, Moon Carver has been taking many walks on Mount Tianhang in recent times. I believe the sights of the city are quite familiar to him. Bro, I... Oh, my gosh. He just walked... He jump-scared me with that hot voice of his, bro. I'm just mind my own business. He walk up like that, bro. I would never be ready. Zhongli, here you are. We've brought the bamboo shoots you wanted. Impeccable timing. I thought say that was terrible. Zhongli puts the nation bamboo soup and the cooking machine next to him. Traditionally, bamboo shoot soup ought to be slow cooked for many hours on low heat. Using Adeptus Arts to hasten the process is something of a short. Wow, using your god powers just to cook faster. <laughs> Is that? Indeed. Cloud Retainer kindly lent me her supreme cuisine machine. Guys, this was an event a year ago. Remember that? If you play Genshin, of course. Can we not just call it a cooking machine? Uh, actually, never mind. In 2.4, in 2 guys, it was quite literally that long ago. Uh, it was 2.4, right? Or was it 2.3? I don't even know. She seems I give to up. take a lot of pride in her mechanical gizmos, so it's probably best if Paimon doesn't go changing the name willy-nilly. I trust that you found the answers you were seeking during your recent journey? Yes. Excellent. The past should be remembered, but not overly dwelt upon. Our journey should be seen as a means to take on more from the world around us. Bruh. When the bamboo shoot soup is ready, I must insist that you try some for yourself. Of course I do, man. I'll do whatever you say, bro. <laughs> Zhongli, the cat told us to tell you something. She said it's up to him whether he wants to support us at the performance tonight, but I expect him to make time for the upcoming banquet we're planning. No excuses. Why'd you say it like that? When she says performance, she must mean the Lantern Right Music Festival. He's like, ah. As for the banquet, uh... She didn't tell us anything more about that, but she invited us to come as well. Yeah. As you can see, I have a prior engagement with two Adepti friends of mine tonight. Please, give Director Who my best wishes for the performance. Bro, she said no excuses. She's your boss. No, no. As for the banquet. Oh, banquet mm. is later? Okay. Since the Director insists, far be it from a mere consultant like myself to refuse. Yeah. How, hey, how dare you? Then we'll see you there? Absolutely. Not. Rex Lapis, the bamboo shoot soup is ready. Okay, Mountain Shadow. Thank you. I will examine it right away. Let's slowly cook for hours? Oh, well, 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 we slowly cook it for a minute. That's crazy. The appearance is exquisite. How do you see it? It's not and even the open. aroma rich and intense. It's not open. The you can't smell it. The of this machine is commendable indeed. All right, Since whatever you say, you buddy. Since you came all this way, you should not leave empty-handed. 
Please, take some soup. It tastes Excuse most me. exquisite while still warm. Oh, really? I thought it tasted even better when it was cold. <laughs> I mean, I'm so mean. Zhang Li talked to me. I intend to reminisce with my old friends for a while longer. You ought to get back to Liu Harbor. There is a performance you do not want to miss. <clears throat> no, sorry, I, I can't hold back, bro. Also, you know, I have never gone in the Liyue Mountains in a long time, and seeing Sumer was just there. Like, you could see it from here. Like, just the tower and stuff. That is so cool. I know that's... I'm just not used to seeing just Sumeru is just there. And I love it. I'm, I'm here for it. And it's just like, whoop. It's just so pretty. Pretty, pretty. Um, yeah, okay. Well, guys, let's go see the awesome, uh, the cutscene that has no drama whatsoever behind it. Mm hmm. I'm going to die inside. If, if there's a cutscene, if, 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 if that cutscene's coming up, I've got to be... Also, can we just talk about how awesome these upside-down uh, umbrellas are? That's so freaking cool. Okay. Uh, brace yourselves. Oh. Oh, brace yourselves, guys. <laughs> guys! Oh, guys! The English stuff is so good! It actually is good, usually. Whoop-dee-doo! This is her town, and this is a little something called... Oh no, don't do it. <laughs> don't do it. I don't want to be here. She's going to sing in her freaking country accent, bro. Zhang Ling, Chang, hey, there's Zing Show. See, I told you it was coming. No. I'm up here blazing trails through the midnight sky. Uh, it's not like bad, but it's like the country part that's getting me here. Oh, that happened like really, really suddenly. Bro, in English, it has the worst flow ever. Oh, good job! It was quick, but also I'm in pain. Does anyone have any plans tomorrow? With another year behind us, I think we deserve a celebration of our own. Mm. My treat. Interested? The Tian Chuan footing the bill? I can't miss out on that. Wow, Beto. Go to jail. I think Yolan doesn't care. Okay. Baizu, you'll never be playable. Uh, he will in like, what, 3.6, I think it is? All right, he's killing people. Yo, me too, me too. Yo, he like me, for real. <laughs> I still find it funny that you can, the only time you can make Zhao Lanners is in 1.3, but they make, oh, Dvorak, okay. I mean, Divorce Jack, sorry. Does that mean canonically we have this music in Genshin Impact? The Lantern Light music is so pretty. Master, listen. <laughs> Hit me with it. But yeah, I have like 59 Xiao Lanterns still. May the year ahead be a blessed one. I believe it shall be. It's almost February. Master, the Shao Lanterns, I... Ha! Elementary. One shall fashion for you a Shao Lantern the <laughs> likes of which the world has never seen. And okay. you must take it to Liyue Harbor to display its magnificence for all. Of course. I mean, I could set one off if you want. I have enough for... 50 years if I do one per year. No. Mm -hmm. <sighs> Where's Madam Ding? Listen, that must be Madam Ping. <sighs> All right. You want acoustic guitar? What's acoustic guitar doing in this conductor's business, bro? Look at all these NPCs behind us.
That was beautiful. You know, after the singing part, it was re it was really nice. Well, well, that was nice. Between facades and familiar faces, blah blah b. Uh, world quest. <laughs> wow, wait until the following night, night to the twenty-four. Yeah, guys, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll say, it, you know, that that stuff kind of gets me a little epilogue, okay? I was like, it's probably gonna be really quick. Uh, that song really gets me. Like, I'm not, I'm not, like, emotional or something. But it gets me because my first event that I ever fully did and finished that was, like, voice acting and stuff was the first Lantern Rite. Because I started playing in December. I technically started playing the game in 1.2, but I was really into it starting 1.3. So, yeah, I'm a freaking loser, I know. Anyways, let's wait the next day till 19 to 24 right now. Woo! Uh, I'm not sure. Yeah, yeah this, this is tomorrow. 1906. So that's the banquet we're doing, huh? It just had to be just like literally just past midnight. So now I have to sit here for like... 30 seconds and think of something to say while the clock is keeps on turning and I can't stop saying something until the clock is done because otherwise that'd be boring in a time of silence in my stream. Okay guys, let's get to it. <laughs> I'm so excited. Okay, where the heck is Venti? They they did a Venti drop and everything, okay? I heard his voice, I swear. Oh, so that's how it is. Thanks for the suggestions, Mr. Zhongli. I have them all noted down. Yeah, me too. Sorry, I had to ban a loser. Get out of here, bro. I'm going to pay for views. How about you pay for these nuts? Okay. Um. I've long heard that your knowledge encompasses all things old and new, Mr. Zhongli. But I never knew that you were well-versed in the art of cooking, too. All right, I was just kidding, but they literally just did random Zing Cho drop, like I said. And Chong Young's to the left of him. It is truly an honor to make your acquaintance. Don't you sound like, bro? I know it's a girl, but like, jeez, bro. No need for formalities. And Zhang Ling has to say a line, too. I to be too. in the company of such talented young people. There are many things I could learn from you. Chong Young, say oh, something. You <laughs> flatter us. <laughs> oh, man, I know this game too well. Um, okay. If it's possible... May I trouble you to provide a few words of guidance for my practices in exorcism? Give up. Exorcism? I can't say I'm an expert in the field. <laughs> yeah, you are. But Shut if up. you don't mind, we could start by discussing... Oh, there's so many people here. Okay, there's four. Everyone's not well, here. Oh, Mimi was that hotel invited Zhang Li over. Paimon never thought we'd be meeting so many old friends. But we have to, so you can meet every Liyue character. Paimon, take notes. Hi, like I said, happy lantern, right? God, I'm so mad, guys. You know what? I was so excited for Yanfei. She says four lines gone. He's like, here, come over here. And then just they just had to shove her in there, and they they didn't even, like, try. I get it. Like, Yanfei's, like, under ma her Madame Ping go back. That's why she went to Madame Ping. But the Ganyu just took her away from me. <laughs> You're, like, the best character. Okay, happy, lan Likewise. happy lantern, right? Please take a seat. Zhongli's voice will make me feel better. Paimon, you don't get a seat. <laughs> you go to the kids' Happy table. Lantern right. Are you having fun? I don't know. How's the one line they gave you for this event? Uh, I've become musically cultured, you could say. Me too. I've seen Shin Yan perform before, but this is the first time I've watched something like this. <laughs> yeah, yeah, me too. I heard like... that the audience loved it too, and she's been receiving quite a lot of performance invitations lately. She's more busy than ever, and Yoon Jin's going to help her. Yep. And they asked us to pass on their season's greetings to everyone. Wow. They hope we'll have a wonderful gathering. Wow, that's so cool. <laughs> the performance was spectacular indeed. Mm, really? However, it gave Xiang Ling a huge burst of inspiration, which in turn gave us a bit of a headache. Um, yeah, really? Us? 
Did Xiangling ask you to try out her dishes too? <laughs> that, my friend, is beside the point. Watching you eat was enough for me. <laughs> what is that supposed to mean, Xing Cho? Come to think of it, I probably shouldn't have burdened Chong Yun with eating my share too. Oh, well, pff, well Chong Yun's got it. He's oh, great. Yeah. Chong Ling came up with a new recipe. <gasps> Let Paimon try! Hey, cool, it has uh, Paimon. <laughs> Someone here knows how to I'm encourage sorry. people. Thanks, Paimon. Well, she's the weirdo who eats slime condescent, oh, so yeah. And I have to thank Mr. Zhongli, too. He gave me lots of useful pointers that really drove it home for me. No problem. Oh, so that's what you were talking about before we arrived. No, oh, well, yes. really. Since we'll be dining together, the topic of our conversation naturally revolved around cooking. Hey, yo, guys, people chat. Talk talk about your cooking experience right now. Why am I... I need to stop getting close to the microphone. Okay. I'm, I'm a little... I don't know what I'm on. I'm, think, I'm like on drugs right now or something. Anyways, I'm not. Okay, cool. Move on. Chung Ling's ideas are truly unconventional. Her choices in both ingredients and spices are comparable to a melody dancing on the tongue. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. My suggestions were nothing more than the icing on the cake. You're too modest, bro. Oh, the two of you always deliver. Deliver. <laughs> now Turn I'm old lady for two seconds. <laughs> anyway, I'll get everyone to have a taste after I've adjusted the recipe based on Mr. Zhang Li's advice. Mm, yeah. Hmm. That sounds like it might become a little safer to eat. <laughs> How about really? I sample the dishes next time? Speaking of eating, Paimon feels like we're missing someone. Well, maybe Hu Tao? I mean, I'm, I'm also missing Yong Fei, right? Oh, Hu Tao was the one who invited us, but she's not here. And oh, where's Guoba? Guoba, the stove oh, god. But Guoba volunteered to help Dad at the restaurant. Yeah, he doesn't eat anyway. He's fine. I know. Lots of people come over to eat during Lantern Rite. <gasps> no way! Out, I probably wouldn't have had the time to accept Hu Tao's invitation. No way, guys. When a holiday's happening, people go out to eat? <laughs> I work in retail. I understand. As for Hu Tao... Boo! The director went to collect a guest. She asked me to stay here and host you for the time being. All right, I mean, hey. <laughs> Seems like it's almost time. Huh? Hu Tao went to fetch someone in person? Oh, that must mean they are super important. I mean, we have three open seats, two more next Could to it Hu Tao. Could be Kuching? Ningguan? Or <gasps> Captain Bano? Now they're doing something by themselves. She didn't clarify. And as her subordinate, I couldn't just pry into the details, could I? Oh, and suddenly the door to the restaurant burst open as if struck by a hurricane. We're here. Uh, if, if it's Yunjin and uh, Jingyan, I will scream. Oh, we're not late to the party, right? Right? No, you are. Good thing the conqueror yeah. of demons and I are both as swift as the wind. And whoosh, we made it just in time. Oh, wow. I like... I don't, okay. I'm going to sound like a freaking loser. But the placement of the characters in this shot is really good. I like it. I'm a freaking loser. I get it. <laughs> Reaction image PNG. Exclamation point. Oh. Ah! I see. So the important guest is the conqueror of demons. I've been looking forward to meeting you. What a great actor. The director didn't mention anything when she invited us. What a pleasant surprise. Gathered here with us tonight are not only young and accomplished individuals, but also the protector of Leo's peace, Adeptus Alanis. He's really good at hyping people up. To convene here with all of you is indeed a great honor. And Chong Ying and I get <sighs> not <laughs> Zhao's lost a few days ago at Wangshu Inn. Why are we going to the past? Back to the past. I mean, you could take a little longer to load if you want to. It's almost lantern right. Yet you took all the trouble coming here. <sighs> the director has a way of making it difficult to decline. Oh, Jean, why would you want to decline her? She's so That's awesome. Shamus. May I ask what troubles you? <laughs> the director asked me to buy sesame oil in preparation for the celebrations. Okay, and? <sighs> then why would you come all the way to Wangshu Inn? So we can have a conversation. I had a pleasant chat with Chef Yen Chao and received some spices from him. And, see? Here's some Matsutake and a portion of ham. 
Okay, why are you showing what it to him? What about the sesame oil? Hmm. It's a shame. I couldn't find the kind the director was looking for. So he'll make his own. Because <laughs> he's just like that, right? Uh, what was that? Four? I'm sure you're exaggerating, Zhang. <clears throat> Sir. <laughs> <sighs> there he goes again. Enough with the pleasantries. Go let our guests take a seat. Everyone here today is well known in their own field and has probably heard about one another to some extent. Some of us are even old acquaintances, so there's no need to be this formal. I mean, I know literally everybody here. I heard that the Conqueror of Demons and the Traveler are pretty close, no? Nah, I don't really like them, but uh, sure, we'll say we're Great. friends. You two sit together. No, I'm good. Can you can you sit next to Jungli? You should take a seat too, director. I'm one of the few people who don't like Zhao, all right? He's too much edgy boy for me. It's too much. Oh, finally remembered me. <laughs> why, does, why didn't you just go conquer a demon or something? When we arrived just now, the host at Xinyue Kiosk told me our dishes are almost ready. Perfect timing. Let's not wait any longer and ask them to bring up the food. Okay, what's up with the empty seat? You know, Paimon, go sit over there so, so they think you're a person. Delicious looking food arrives and a pleasant scent fills the air. You all begin to eat or something. The person who tell when to fetch was Shell. How'd she even oh. get the man? That's also the first I've heard of the Traveler and Paimon being friends with the Conqueror of Demons. Bruh, I get around. You know Shell too? Knowing is a bit of an overstatement. I've always looked up to him. Because he can exercise demons. I'm too powerful. You might not know this, Paimon, but... We exorcists have worked in close collaboration with the Conqueror of Demons for many generations, dispelling evil together, both in the open and from the shadows. Hard to imagine that thanks to Hu Tao, I've finally gotten the chance to meet him. Conqueror of Demons, I am honored to make your acquaintance. Yeet. Oh, hi. Hi, Hannah. How are you? No. <laughs> I See, if I see something like Yeet, that means Hannah took my, took my mom's uh, text. If that is bomb, I'll be surprised. I'll do a pog face right now. Likewise. <laughs> Likewise. It is a great honor indeed to have a chance to meet the legendary Conqueror of Demons. Okay, Chung we get it. has brought that name up quite a few times in the past. We get it. He's so cool. <laughs> I remember you mentioning wanting him to understand the importance of exorcists. Ahem. Ahem. <laughs> we know each other, too. That's the weakest ahem I've ever heard in my we life. try my dishes during the Masterful Chef's cook-off. Wait, he was there for that? I forgot about that. You know, I just try to void out all the Zhao time. Uh, <clears throat> I didn't think we'd have the chance to meet again. Happy Lantern Rite. She said it! No anecdote, however, compares to meeting you in person. I'm Sing Cho, Shangling and Chang Yun's friend. The pleasure is all Yeah, he's just friends with them. He's nothing else important, guys. Whoa. Everyone's getting all formal and polite all of a sudden. Uh, Paimon doesn't know what she should say anymore. Let's eat! <laughs> what, like, when people say Ikadaki Mas or something like that, sound like a freaking loser. I don't know what that means. I just said it. Uh, Adeptus Shell, mighty conqueror of demons. Please accept Paimon's greetings to Belated Happy Lantern Rite. Belated isn't the right word to use here. It isn't? What is the right word, then? To look for a fancy word, okay? Don't be too harsh on Paimon. I don't even know what it means. I, I know what belated means, but like, what would you replace that with? It is late, right? There's no need to be so polite. Thank you, Zhao. Everyone's getting too stuffy. You're right. This was meant to be a nice little get-together between friends, after all. Too much formality kills the atmosphere. Yeah, chumps. <laughs> I didn't plan this gathering only for everyone to walk on eggshells. Hiya. I yeah. Okay, I'm gonna say it right now, guys. Would it kill them to just, like, get rid of that one extra chair if we know no one's gonna sit... If we know no one's gonna sit on the chair, would it kill them to just not just like get the rid of the chair for this one event? Maybe I mean, come on. How much money you make a year? What's your true intention, then? A well, little get together between friends, sipping the finest tea, she and said watching that in lanterns the float into thing. the sky, bidding farewell to the past. And embracing the present with joy. She said that in the trailer. And that is something our consultant would say. I think it deserves a standing ovation. Uh, I mean, all right, sure, whatever. I'll stand up. What? Oh, they just didn't show Indeed. anyone else standing. Exceptional acting skills, director. As for me, I'm just here to have fun and treat everyone to something good. All right, let's eat. We all worked really hard this year. 
Whether traveling or guiding, cooking, helping with the family business, exercising evil spirits, or conquering demons. Things I do every day. And of course, our consultant, who's been helping out at the parlor every now and then. How much money he made? Everyone has done some like pretty nothing. amazing things. As the one who brought everyone together, it goes without saying that I'm the one most deserving of praise. You are, Hu Tao. Huh? You're not a little yet. kind of self-important, but... Paimon thinks it's pretty amazing that she managed to talk Xiao into coming. He rarely ever enters Liyue Harbor, after all. Who cares about how she did, too? It wasn't as complicated as you think. Really? Hmm. Oh, okay. Uh, and, 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 uh, again, I like the fact that they did the again thing because they're just like, okay, I guess we're doing this. I mean, you could just explain it instead of showing cutscene, okay, but also gotcha. showing cutscene makes it a little bit better. But also, it's again, it's the second time it's in like the same scene, so it's kind of weird. Uh, it's not boss lady, just boss. Oh, oh, that's, I forgot that was her thing. And there she goes. What a lively girl. Okay, we're golden. Conqueror of demons, adept as Xiao. That was not Xiao, that was Xiao. Guardian of Wangshu in. Hero of Dihua Marsh. I know you're there. See that? That's the. Oh, there he is. Put like an Enderman teleports over him. Quiet. Do not disturb the peace. Sorry, but you wouldn't show up if I didn't yell your name, would you? She makes a good point. I know you. You're the 77th director of Wang Sheng Funeral Parlor. Why do you know that, Zhao? Is there something you need? <laughs> you're gonna die today! <laughs> Just shoot him. <laughs> that does sound like one of Hu Tao's antics. <laughs> wow, Hu Tao's so quirky, guys. Who's gonna sit on that chair? It's making me so mad. Can someone sit there right Did now? Did the Conqueror of Demons agree to come so that Hu Tao would stop pestering him? Maybe. There might be other reasons. <laughs> Smart guess. Almond tofu. Huh? No, okay. There's more to it? It gets pretty boring from here on. I talked about the funeral parlor's past relationships with the guardian yakshas. You know, just to be sociable. In the sociable. time of the Archon really? War, mm -hmm. disputes were frequent, and disaster overtook the land. Humans couldn't escape from the torment of the plague, nor could they escape death. Well, really? I mean, I escape death every day of my life. The Adepti vanquished the demons, the Millilith fought valiantly, and Wang Sheng Funeral Parlor was responsible for purifying the diseased and sending off the spirits of the dead. Wow, they did their job. Good job, Funeral Parlor. That is how the border between life and death was maintained during the war. And it effectively prevented further incidents from happening. Awesome. That's right. One point for the consultant. But despite our deep-rooted connection, it still took me quite a while to actually convince him. Was he worried about his guard, no, man? Pretty well, huh? This matter is out of my control, so I need to be cautious. All right, buddy. True, but I've kept that in mind too. That's why <laughs> everyone here today is, in one way or another, acquainted with elemental power. Besides, it'll only be for a short while as we dine together. There won't be any lasting consequences. But I didn't expect there to be so many people yo me too man that's the line i would say there's no need to worry relatable job demons we're not feeling anything unusual so far <laughs> just dies right away Our yeah, young exorcist over here is protected by his pure yang energy so he's probably the most resilient that, that's not the same <laughs> i mean you're you got ice power did you just toss your carrots into my bowl hey don't look away carrots oh my gosh she's such a child huh what? Go read a book or something. I'm siding with Chunk. Chung Yoon. I saw that too. There's no carrots. The plates are freaking empty. <laughs> Your lucky Guoba isn't here today. He hates seeing people being picky with their food. If he'd seen that, he'd definitely make you eat all your carrots. What the heck is going on here? I, I get it. Guoba would do that? Is he that uncompromising? Hmm. But now that I think of it, Shang Ling told Whoa. me that Guoba used to be the stove god. Uh, yeah. <laughs> it sounds like you've heard the rumors. It's not a rumor, it's fact. <laughs> you seem pretty quiet today. He's, every t he's always quiet. What are you talking about? Not used to being around so many people? I'm doing Question fine. Mark. Not long ago, before Lantern Rite, I met an old friend. Hey, well, you want to do another flashback? Thanks to his help, things have been a lot more stable than before. 
Oh, it's a good day here. Give everything you don't need. Don't eat the pie, bud. Wait, what? <laughs> She's a leftover. Oh. Huh? The wind? That's the. Seeds of story brought by the wind. And cultivated by kind. Uh, did Paima just unconsciously complete the thing? Yeah. That voice. Could it be? It must be. Why did I say it like that? I'm sorry. Hmm? If I'm not mistaken, there's someone knocking at the door. The wow. I mean, when I'm knocking on a door. Wow. Wow. Okay, uh, shut up, bro. Just sit there, Zhongli. Go welcome our guest in. No such need. I'm coming in. Wow, guys, they really do venti drop in the epilogue, huh? See, so guys, they finally filled the chair. Thank you. The door to the restaurant gets blown open by a gust of wind again. But, like, actually. <laughs> you finally let me in. All right, Venti. Hello, hello. No matter if we've met before or not, this moment marks a brand new encounter. Old friends and new. Happy Lantern Right. Oh, these are all old oh, friends. It's the tone deaf bard. <laughs> <Huh>? Oh, <laughs> he seems to carry a valiant breeze wherever he goes. It looks like we're going to be friends. Yeah, he's kind of the uh, whatever. Fate has brought us together. So come on, take a seat and be my guest. Help yourself. Oh, I'll ask them for another set of cutlery. The te the plate was already set up, mm -hmm. Hutao. This young lady here is as bright as a fresh bouquet of flowers in the morning's rising sun. What a charmer. She no doubt is the one with the most authority here. <laughs> Whoa, really? These dishes look amazing. Is it really okay for me to join in? <laughs> All right, I'm digging it. Nah, nah, you gotta go outside and play music for an apple. Huh. Chup. It's you. Oh, isn't this Genu? Hmm? Genu? Oh, he's gonna, he's gonna give Jinxiao's pen name away. I forgot. I, oh my gosh, that was so long ago. Uh, yep. Now that I've taken a closer look, you're a fan of Genu's works, aren't you? Bro, why does it eat? Okay. Let's feature a light novel convention. Oh, how I wish we'd met sooner. A light I novel convention. That wow. there'd be another person in this world who could interpret Genu's new novel as thoroughly as I could. Venti, you're being too humble. Considering your poetic talent, your fundamentals are way more impressive. Me, 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 me. Okay, <clears throat> we get it. Could this new guest be Master Singcho's friend? He's my old pal, too. Yeah. <laughs> Xiao, you remember me, too, right? We had a chat not long ago. Oh, was it that thing I saw on YouTube? Yes, yes. Monsters become more active than usual as we get closer to Lantern Right. Why is that? I was patrolling Dihua Marsh a few what? days ago when I happened to run into this. this. loser. Mm -hmm. You've already forgotten? I'm a bard, remember? And bards go around singing wherever they like. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah that's, that sounds so legit. Oh, right. And this bard was performing in Dihua Marsh. Poor Zhao, he's struggling here, being put here with Zhongli and Venti. <laughs> kind of feel bad for him, you know? He has a... It was a moving melody, and it made me feel relaxed and at ease. I couldn't help but stay and listen. <laughs> Thank you for your patronage. <clears throat> so that's how it was. I, I see. understand now, too. Hmm. I'm Zhongli. Currently working at the Wang Sheng Funeral Parlor. It's a pleasure to meet you, new friend. Yes, mm -hmm. new. And yes, I'm new. And his boss. Oh, and if there's anything unsatisfactory, let me know anytime. I'll fire him whenever I need That's to. That's very considerate of you. Oh? Hmm. No wonder. Only a boss as savvy and reliable as you would be able to hire such an impressive consultant. Bro, this man can own the entire world if he wanted to. <laughs> Oh, you're too nice, Venti. Not to brag, but our consultant truly is impressive. His he knows everything. extends across the stars in the land, and there's nothing throughout history that he doesn't know. Mm -hmm. From the sophisticated way he speaks, it's hard not to suspect that he could very well be an adeptus in disguise. <laughs> wow, that's so funny, Hu Tao. That's a, such a funny point. So, you're an adeptus. Do you think it might be possible? I know. Sorry, I'm only good at conquering demons. I'm afraid I don't have much knowledge in that matter. Oh, poor man. Uh, really? But Paimon thinks you're super knowledgeable. Paimon, oh, 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 oh my gosh, her side glance. So attract. I mean, Paimon, play along. Huh? Oh, oh, right. 
Uh, Shao the warrior. He doesn't come to the city very often, so wow. it's uh, pretty normal for him to not know anything. Yeah. Yeah, this isn't awkward at all. We gotta hold our tongue for like two of the art cons just sitting together. Where you know, why don't we just bring Raiden Shogun and, and Nahida up here in the park? I know she's she's watching somewhere. I I see you. Uh, really. I've actually heard a few things about Mr. Zhongli before. What's that? The guests in the tavern talked about this refined and courteous man who, instead of having wine at Mondstadt's finest tavern, ordered a cup of hot tea with the most complex name. Yeah, what, was that the uh, the tavern event, I think? I remember seeing... No, wait, that was the other... Oh my gosh. That was... Uh, 1.1. That was the Archon quest, right? I'm pretty sure it was. Yeah, that's what happened. Oh my gosh. I'm trying, I'm like, they're making me rack my brain. This, they're referencing things from like two years ago. <laughs> I'm not against it. It's just like, woo, it's been forever. Now that you mention it, I seem to recall that there indeed is a musician like yourself in Mondstadt. That is literally you. I've heard that he's elegant and amiable. His work's witty and vibrant. It's no overstatement to regard him as the best bard in Mondstadt. You said it, it's him. <laughs> now you're making me embarrassed. I would say that Mondstadt's poetry is a little run of the mill sometimes. Yeah, who tell you want to poet poem time? That went, <clears throat> the old house is renewed, welcoming the spring breeze, awakening old memories. The mm -hmm. meaning's there, but the word choices are unimaginative, and there's a distinct lack of literary flair. You got Hu Chao thinking. I think so, too. The composition needs a little jazzing up. Okay, who asked and you? If I were to give it a go, I'd make it... An old melon on a vine, a new flower that grows fine. So, oh my gosh, I like your hat. No. Oh, good one. It feels unique and has a nice ring to it. We're all, uh, so many music stuff you going on here. You have great taste, Bendy. Or I poems. I was afraid about you. Let's shake hands. Of course, of course. Hmm. <laughs> I, when she says that, it makes me kind of like, you know, go for the handle and then she like pulls him in and like whispers something in his ear. <clears throat> like something creepy. Hey, Xingqiu. Hmm? Mind lending me a few books when we get back? Pick out some well-written ones. I don't yeah. know if it's my own lack of literary knowledge, but I couldn't tell the difference between those two. I don't think it's your fault. I mean, you, what, what, what are you, 12? No. <laughs> Chang Yun's right. It's not our fault. But I'm going to watch and learn from Hu Tao and Venti. This will come in handy for your ugly nicknames. Why, it's so little, the text is so little. <laughs> oh, you have a point. Oh, wow, she's actually taking it seriously. That what? was just a pot shot. Speaking of, pot. why is it so get bard here? Are you here to take part in Lantern Rite too? Well, there, it's a music festival, so why wouldn't I be here? I heard that Liyue will be hosting a Lantern Rite music festival this year. As a musician myself, how could I possibly resist the temptation to come take a look? <laughs> or a listen. Wow, guys, it's almost like I knew that he was going to say that line. Yeah, I did. Getting to know other musical styles is essential to sparking inspiration, mm -hmm, don't mm -hmm. you think? Yeah, but the music festival wasn't planned beforehand. As for the Fontaine friend who hosted the festival, I saw him near Stone Gate the other day. He knows everything. The Iridescence tour has finally been held successfully for once. Outside so of Fontaine. Congratulate him. It was successful in Fontaine, just not outside of Fontaine. Venti, take notes. Thank you. He must feel very grateful. Don't think anything of it. By the way, I was watching as you entered Shinyue Kiosk, but no one seemed to notice me. Yeah, you probably weren't there. Should I say that it's because I'm an expert in hiding, or that a certain someone deliberately ignored the sound of the wind? <laughs> you mean that? <laughs> Whenever Lantern Rite comes around, Liyue Harbor becomes bustling with activity. Why are we attacking People each other? People are all busy watching the lanterns and strolling around the shops, and they might just go travel somewhere on a whim. It is rather difficult to predict another's whereabouts. The all right. The festival is in full swing and proceeding smoothly. And we're all gathered here with friends, new and old. We're this all old. This is no old. doubt a wonderful occasion worth celebrating. We're all old friends, bro. <laughs> to come together with all of you at the beginning of the year, one can't help but be filled with joy. Wow, guys, I'm so happy I'm playing Genshin In a Eva. moment like this, I propose we raise a glass together. In my case, tea in lieu of wine. In lieu? Uh, 
I can't have wine. Very well said, Mr. Zhongli. That was exactly what I wanted to say. Osmensis wine is the same as I've remember. Tastes the same as I've remember. But where are those who share the memory? Uh, now I'm getting a little self-conscious. I didn't cause you too much trouble barging in like that, did I? You did, but the seat was there for you, so it's all right. We usually drink wine during occasions like this over in Mondstadt. But since Mr. Zhang Li insists on drinking tea, I'll give a toast with tea, too. Everyone, thanks for the treat. No, bring up the Osmanthus wine. We need it now. <laughs> You're welcome. As the host of this gathering, I hope everyone enjoys the food and drinks. <laughs> May this year be better than the last. Yeah, fa may Fontaine come out this year. It's supposed to, so yeah. Considering that everyone may have other matters to attend to later, sticking to tea seems like a good idea. What? Let's get busted drunk right now. Uh. All of a sudden, they started proposing toasts. Should, should we? Uh, yeah. What's with the urgency? <laughs> uh, Want to head out for a walk? I ate too much. Can you come take a walk with me? Sure. <sighs> Sure. Why? Have you two finished eating? I haven't started yet. It's always nice to have a breath of fresh air after a meal. Helps with digestion. Sure, whatever uh, you say. Uh, I'm gonna come too. Oh, you don't want to eat something? Uh, you're still hungry, right? Uh, yeah? Don't worry, we'll be back okay, soon. Then. Don't forget to come back. Uh, then want me to have one one time with Zhao? Bruh, I don't want... What do you want? Let's depart. You go ahead. Why do I have to go for? I don't even want to hang out with you, bro. Uh, oh, uh, you know what? I want to talk to everyone. Uh, it seems like our new friend is an expert in wine. I deserve no such praise. I only drink for fun. It's nothing compared to your They're expertise. just they're just gassing each other up for no reason. I'm glad we're only having tea today. What if I got drunk and said something nonsensical? I'd surely become an object of ridicule to someone I've just met. No such thing. Oh, stop. I wouldn't dare disrespect the director's guest. <laughs> oh my gosh, they're just going back and forth constantly. Just say that you know each other for like two seconds. Uh, I can talk to Paimon. You're not allowed to leave Paimon here alone. To be honest, Paimon's worried about saying the wrong thing. All right. Well, see, these are the characters that I want to hear talk. So, uh, who do, who do? Did you talk about anything interesting before we started the meal? Anything fun I missed out on? Uh, yeah, you are... Oh, we were talking about cooking. Mr. Zhongli told us that he went on a trip to Chaoyang Village the other day and got a hold of some uncommon ingredients. Tea seed oil and sesame oil. He suggested I try using those in my new dishes. What a nice guy. Oh, no wonder he left his post for so long that day. Post? Where, what is he? What is his post? difficult for anyone else to find. I guess I'll need his help next time as well. All right, let's see what the two losers are talking about. About you and Venti. Uh, <laughs> what about it? Could he be a partner in your family business? No, That's he's right. poor. He's broke. You know how my family is. A lot of business secrets can't just be divulged at the dinner table. Why not? Ah, uh, just as I thought. Cool, guys. It's over now. Uh, wait, where's the way out of here? Oh, it's right here. The door's just here. That door blends in way too much with the windows. Wow, we're outside. Are you all right? I'm fine. I should be the one asking you that. Well, I don't care about you, Zhao, actually. <laughs> I... It's hard to describe. I'm familiar with gatherings like that. It's not that. There were those among the Adepti who loved gatherings and idle chit-chat. Sometimes they would call up a few others for a drink. <sighs> Even I got dragged along to their gatherings many times. Oh yeah, we paid. The Adepti ah. all have their specialties, making most of them proud and arrogant. Everything they say is straight from the heart. It never gets too complicated. It was too complicated in there, I can this tell you time, that. They're holding their secrets, that's why. It's all Zhang Li's fault. It's all Fenty's no, fault. No. <laughs> I, I didn't mean that. So you know his true identity. I'll get straight to the point. That's now. what I'm saying. Like, like the, the, bro, the fact that they have to act like that every, in front of other the people is so annoying. The animal Archon is a free spirit. And his temperament is as carefree as the music he plays on the flute. It's easy for a god like him to live in harmony with humans. Wait, he plays the flute? I, I only ever seen him play the lyre. And that's something I might never be able to do. Yeah, you don't have to be like them. Hmm. 
You do you, buddy. That does sound like something you would say. <laughs> All right, thanks. No matter. Jerk. I know my circumstances. <laughs> Whenever I think of the ordinary conversations I've had with you, it feels strangely novel. Strange, uh, strange in a good way? Question mark. Yes, the parlor director went out of her way with the invitation, so it was difficult to turn her down. I had made mental preparations before agreeing to come. Good job. She told me that all the guests today would be acquainted with elemental power, and I knew that you would be here. What if I wasn't, though? We'd but freak out and die. The other guests to be. No one would have General guessed. General Capesis always said that we should live in the present Capesis? and enjoy every pleasant surprise. Excuse me. Perhaps that's what I should do with what I'm feeling now. Or he could just cry about but it. I think he meant designing clothes for those around him. <laughs> the clothes were intricately designed, but inconvenient to wear. Brother Bosatius never tried to hide his distaste in front of him. Oh, Bosatius, we know that guy. Too bad he lost his mind, got lost in the chasm, and then we had to defeat him to save him from himself, and now he's dead forever. Rex Lapis would... did like his designs and even collected quite a few. The outfit he wears now was also designed by General Capesis himself. Yo, General Capesis made that? I never saw him that? wear this during the war. I didn't expect him to start wearing it later. I mean, it looks good on him. Oh, here you are. Oh, I'm not intruding, right? You kind of are. You're not. What is it? But I'd rather have you talk than Zhao, so go uh, go ahead. I saw that everyone's done eating and asked the staff to bring out the desserts. Yo, dessert? Paimon got so anxious that you weren't back yet that she scarfed down her dessert without the usual slurping and munching. But not so anxious that she can't eat. Sounds like she'll be okay. Uh, to be honest, I was kind of worried too. Remind that moment in the 3.1 Archon Quest when she was like, you were gone for a long time and she got sad that... Uh, bro, that actually that that actually hurt my few wings. You looked a little restless just now, and I thought you weren't used to the food here, and was planning to head back to Wangshu Inn for something Yen Chow made. I don't eat food. You're worrying too much. You're worrying too much. Okay, Xiao, don't pull any lamentous, lemonistic wind side wings on us. What does that even mean? Why would I? I don't know what that means, bro. Anyway, let's head back. Let's go inside the oh, please building. Wait. There's another reason why I came looking for you. Why is that? Here, take these. I brought them for you. Oh, really? Yeah, I'm oh, so interested. Tofu. I thought so. I was just yep. kidding. Since the masterful chef's competition, you could say that Yen Xiao and I are not only competitors, but good friends as well. I visit him at Wang Shu Inn sometimes to discuss our cooking. Wow. I heard him say that the esteemed guest on the roof loves nothing more than a good plate of almond tofu. So I learned a thing or two about the dish from him. Awesome. Now, to be honest, before Hu Tao invited everyone, she secretly came looking for me, told me about the guest she planned to invite, and asked me for some suggestions on what she should order. Uh, okay, cool. So I made awesome. a few servings of almond tofu for you guys in advance. Is it cold? Take them as a token of gratitude for your support. Mm -hmm. When I told Globa that I was making these for you, he started eagerly running around the kitchen and helping a lot too. Thank you, Sean Lee and Globa. Zoom in on very pixely oh, for small the version of his face. There was no need to. Ahem. <clears throat> I'll take them. Thank you. And Globa too. Or <laughs> the stone god, if you will. You're welcome. You're oh, welcome. the almond tofu I made? Probably tastes and feels a little different from the type Yen Shao cooks. It was that. Please let me know if there's any improvements I should make. Okay. No, okay. <laughs> That's all. Okay. Alrighty, we should head back now. We can't keep Paimon waiting. I mean, we can. Anyways, it's over, right? No, the. Uh, okay, this is the longest epilogue ever. Could just end it. There's like, dessert's coming. It's over, okay? Nah, I'm just. Bruh, I think I just wasted all my energy for the beginning of the stream because now I'm just so tired. Holy. Anyways, what's going on, guys? Zhang Li looking at the wall like a freaking loser. Oh, you're finally done whispering secrets to each other? <laughs> so much for promising Paimon you'll be back soon. <laughs> it was only like two minutes. We were pretty quick. You're only angry because you have no sense of time. <laughs> How could you say that to Paimon? It's true. It wasn't that long. <sighs> In that case, besides having no sense of time, Paimon will let you know what having no sense of fullness looks like. Your dessert is all Paimon. What now? Sorry to keep everyone waiting. <laughs> okay, just walk past no her. No worries, we're all just chatting here. There's no serious business to take care of. Uh, this dessert's looking pretty serious. Whether chatting outside or inside, it's all the same. 
Strive to be more like Hutao, Paimon. Hmm. Paimon's too busy eating to talk to you. But the food's not that wet. But even though we're okay, all well acquainted by now, I think this festive gathering deserves something ceremonious. What's that? Oh? Wine? Is this some local custom? Let's all get drunk. <laughs> nope. This is something I made up so that good luck will be on our side. That's all. May we all not die within the next year. Spontaneity is the best choice to make here. Um, let's use this incense burner on the table. Okay. It's been lit for so long now that the incense is running out. I'll leave refilling and lighting the incense to the most distinguished guest among us all. Playable character of heaven right here. <laughs> lighting the incense will signify continuous growth and prosperity in all our endeavors in the new year. Wow, guys. I see. Perfect symbolism, as expected of Hu Tao. You just better. So, like, why is it expect? Okay, whatever. Just whatever. Crunchy knows all. Speaking of the most distinguished guest here today, I'm sure we all agree that it's Mr. Zhang Li. Why is that point so epic for some reason? I'm not very familiar with the details of his past deeds, but chatting with him has been a real eye opener. Even for a bard who has traveled all across the world. Twice. Okay, more than twice. If knowledge were a form of power, one could even say that you're a wielder of unlimited strength. Okay, why are we just talking to each other but like this? When it's it comes like... to having a way with words, the notable bard is certainly one cut above the rest. Okay. I just happen to have a good memory. It is such an unexceptional skill, yet you made it sound like an unparalleled talent. I am truly impressed. Okay. Since we all get to nominate someone. Paimon. <laughs> what? Mm -hmm. I think it's only fair that we let the parlor director light the incense. Why? Huh? That won't do. Don't flatter me just because I'm your boss. Yeah, up his payment. We are looking right for now. the most distinguished guest here. As the host, I shouldn't be involved in this discussion at all. Now True. that we've enjoyed this table full of delicacies, how about we let our one and only chef here do the honor? Why are we arguing about changing the incense? It's just, it, it doesn't take that long. Holy. Um, is this really the way this works? I didn't cook any of these dishes. You made all it's tofu. It's not a big deal. Just look at her. Xiangling, the disciple of an adeptus, the stove god's best companion, the winner of the Masterful Chef's Competition. <laughs> The only yeah. heir of the famous one mean restaurant. A good old friend of mine. There's no better choice. It's just <laughs> incense. Uh, why does Paimon feel like we're back at square one again? Because we are. Oh, please stop. You're making me embarrassed. If we're looking for a distinguished guest, surely the second son of the Feiyun Commerce Guild counts. True. It's one of the largest commerce guilds in Liyue Harbor. And then they just turn and clap them. That's hilarious. <laughs> Don't get me involved in this. Why not? Ooh, not a bad choice. With the Commerce Guild's young master lighting the incense, we're all sure to make a huge sum of mora in the new year. Is that why? I think Zhang Li should do it, because then we'll all just be goaded. That's not how it works. Making a fortune is indeed a fine wish, but it's of lesser importance than good health and happiness. <laughs> all right, Which whatever, loser. <laughs> we should choose Chong Yun. The skilled exorcist who keeps everyone's home safe from evil spirits. Except all he has to do is like sit outside their house and they'll huh? leave. Now you're nominating me? We gotta nominate everyone for the joke. I can't be the one when we have the conqueror of demons right here. Of course he named God. Adeptus them. Xiao has the most seniority among everyone here today. We should uh, uh he's in third place, actually, freaking loser. <laughs> Shut up, Chong Young. He's in third place. Actually, no. He's in fourth place. I bet you the the traveler's older than this man. And you know, Paimon could possibly be older than him. He's in fifth place, actually. I refuse. Thank you, Zhao. I am most certainly not the most distinguished guest here. He's going to say Zhang Li. No, he's, they're going to say it's me. You should all be able to make the right judgment based on your observations. Oh, wait, don't. One person here is well acquainted with everyone else. No! Hmm? Why, why is this an argument? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Chongen's uh, oh, like that's right. <laughs> the fact that he delayed it is so funny to me. Even though you're always mocking Paimon, you're still pretty popular with other people. Pretty? There's so many people. I couldn't name all the no, people. I probably could if I tried. Paimon said she wouldn't talk to you again. I'm not the only well-connected person here, though. Who else is there? Oh, you, of course. Huh? Huh? 
to Sapping. Paimon's the most distinguished guest. I mean, I don't we, I know the least about your past. We know everyone else's past here. Oh, well, that was unexpected. <laughs> I agree. <laughs> Paimon's just the one we need. She's going to ruin this year. Constantly by your side, a long journey would become dreadfully lonesome. But once you have someone there to brighten up the atmosphere, all these characters on one screen along the way will become lively and vibrant too. Ah. Ah. The traveler has traversed many nations Only four. and left behind a great deal of fascinating stories. But without Paimon, they would have become quite monotonous. <laughs> okay, if you say so, buddy. Paimon plays an indispensable role in making your journey a happy and smooth. See, everyone else who hates Paimon is like crying right now, but I actually I actually like Paimon. I still I still don't hate her guys. I know. I'm weird. <laughs> Compliments, right? Of course, you're the best travel companion ever. Thank you. You made Paimon wait for a long time, but Paimon's not mad anymore. Why? You would never not talk to me ever again because you would be talking in the, in the next. Don't take everything quest. to heart, Paimon. Friends tease each other all the time. Hmm. That is indeed true. That means Paimon is as important to the traveler as Guoba is to me. How's the Guoba drop? Looks like we've come to an agreement. Any objections before we proceed? No. I trust the traveler's judgment. Then Paimon it is. Wow, they chose the and least now, distinguished person. No, the world's kidding. most excellent traveler's greatest companion, guide, and friend. <laughs> the zooms. We'll be refilling and lighting the incense for us. Wow! She said that on like level one, but she was jumping like it was level ninety. Here you go. Take the match and uh, don't burn yourself. But if things go really wrong, here's a two for one coupon. Oh, thanks, Wu Chow. She's so nice. I missed everyone's laughter and applause. Paimon clumsily lights the incense. Of course she does. You'll have a relaxed heart to heart chat all the way until nightfall. Wow, and then you get drunk and pass out and die. Now that everyone's had their fill of delicious food and tea, it's time to say goodbye. Rip. <clears throat> Excuse me, it's not done yet? Okay, I thought it was done. Oh, it's getting late. I won't take up any more of your time. You're all free to go as you please. Thanks for the treat, director. Yep. The tea was amazing too. Uh, you I don't, don't like have tea. To go all polite on me. Just remember to come when I invite you next time. Oh. Right. Hmm, let's see. Hmm. It's dark, dark out, so I'm going to accompany Xiang Ling, Sing Cho, and Chang Yun back home. As for the rest of the guests, I'll leave them to our consultant. Of course, she's walking all the child children home. They'll get kidnapped and no put need. in a. I'm headed towards the harbor to meet a friend on the ship. There's no need to trouble one such as Mr. Zhang Li. What friend on a ship, Venti? You know the place I'm talking about. Come meet me anytime. Uh, I will. It was great getting sure. to know you all. Let's meet again when the spring breeze begins to blow. Okay, actually, what is he talking about? Like, which boat? I, I don't know. Bye. Oh, we should write poetry together sometime. We'll catch True. you all later then. Bye bye. Don't forget to return to the parlor later. There's something I need you to do. Understood. See you later. Bye! <sighs> well then. Rex Lapis. Just Zhang Li will do. I live you as can't a say Zhang Li. in Liu Harbor now. I am just one among many who begin work at sunrise and retire to rest at sundown. If really, we were buddy. to consider status and seniority as Zhang Li. I should be respectfully referring to you as Adeptus Shao. Oh, uh, shut up. You don't have to be so humble. You can still call him Xiao. Uh, heaven forbid. Uh, Adeptus Not Xiao! you too. <laughs> <laughs> I meant what I said. I didn't. I heard that during the Lantern Rite Music Festival, you conferred with Streetward Rambler and Cloud Retainer. I take it as you've gained a lot more knowledge about the past? Yeah, and those character designs that will never come to pass. The same yes, truth will sound I have. different coming from different people. As more bear witness to a story, feelings and interpretations expand in variety too. 
Yeah? I once had a pleasant chat about the past and present with a Sumeru scholar named Soraya. And learned a few things about her research topic. Soraya? I don't really realize that name. Am I supposed to? From the she found and the conclusion she made. Her area of research is already very close to the truth. Oh, okay. But there are multiple sides to humans and gods alike. No way. In the legends recorded by humans, some gods were depicted as arrogant and condescending. While others were kind and capable. And others had really attractive voices. But whether to me, <laughs> Streetwood Rambler, Cloud Retainer, or younger Adepti such as Shao and Ganyu. Those Adepti and gods that may seem extraordinary to humans are something more akin to close companions. All this right. was as true back then as it is right now. We're all friends. Just how Shao may seem unapproachable to most, but the Traveler has proved otherwise. Eh, I don't really so like there's much. no need to dwell too much on certain things. Okay. Rex La... <clears throat> I mean, Zhang Li. What you're saying is... It looks like you understood what I meant. I wasn't really fully paying attention, I'm gonna ah. be honest. The director asked me to accompany you on your return. But I don't think you'll need my protection. I'll be taking a walk around and admiring the night scenery. Alright, have fun, buddy. After that... It'll be time for me to go back and meet up with the director. Goodbye for now. Bye bye. See you later. Bye, Zhang Li. Everyone's you said it. now. Paimon always feels a little empty inside when a lively celebration ends. I don't know. I'm kind of waiting for it to end. Like, it's cool, but like, man, long epilogue. Love the characters, except for Zhao. And. <laughs> At least you always stay by Paimon's side. Mm, guys, put that in the Paimon foreshadowing list. Just like, slap it on the book. Screenshot it. Paimon got it mixed up. Paimon, the best and most distinguished travel guide, will always stay by your side. I'm afraid there'll be a lot. Uh, uh, there'll be a lot to ask of you in the future too, most distinguished Paimon. Good that you're aware of that. Shell, is there anything else you want to do? <laughs> I'm sorry. We could take you on a tour of Liyue Harbor. Uh, we don't have to. No need. Thank you. I've stayed here for much longer than I had expected. The city lights are a fine sight. But it's time for me to leave. All right, deuces. The events of today occurred so abruptly. I appreciate your kindness. The feelings mutual. You don't have to thank me okay. every time, buddy. I'll see you next time then. Hopefully in a year. I don't want to see you again until next year. <laughs> Guys, I don't hate Zhao that much. I'm over exaggerating about Zhao since so many people like him. Anyways, wow, look at that. 20 primos. Wow. 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 Bop. Oh, wait, what can I get? I have a lot. I think I have some, right? Actually, like, I, like, used a lot recently. I forgot. I used to have, like, what, 100 and something? I only have 22 now. Okay, give me... Yo, 17,000 more, guys. Wow. That's crazy, bro. How long, is, how long did that take? Oh, it's almost three hours. Yeah. I think for, like, the first two hours, I was kind of on, like... I was like doing stuff. Okay, you know, before I end the stream, might as well. I have so many Zhao lanterns. I have 60. I actually don't want to put one off. I actually probably shouldn't have put one off because that is such a satisfying number. You know what? Never mind. Screw you. <laughs> uh, just like all these satisfying numbers right here, boys. Woo! I got 12 built up right there. 60 right there. 109 right there and soon to be five more uh i i did not buy these you're not seeing that and two days what right oh yeah no it's not wrong today is the 29th that's crazy uh see guys all these wishes right here are for day uh because yes i uh i think well We'll see once it gets closer to that update. And, you know, it'd be really cool if there was, like... Uh, where is the next Sumer area going to be? I'm pretty sure it was it was a third part of the desert. Which would be interesting because the desert's going to become bigger than... <laughs> well, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, I mean, technically it's four separate areas, but, like, this is so much bigger than this. I'm fine with it. I, honestly... Desert exploration has been my favorite so far. No cap. Everyone else is complaining about it. I love it. It's the best exploration experience I've had yet. But anyways, I'm going to end the stream here. All right, I'm going to turn this up. Bop. Boom. 
Yeah. So, yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Uh, my next stream will be on Tuesday. No, duh. What will I be streaming? Pfft, don't know. Probably River City Girls 2 since I haven't finished the game yet. And I was in the middle of doing that. And then Genshin update. Boom. Bada bing, bada boom. I, <laughs> the desert stuff took me a lot longer than I expected because, you know, there's a part two again. Again. Uh, but, yeah. It, 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 it quit the game. But then... <laughs> Talk like uh, a non-normal person. And I'll see you guys next time. And